Welcome, everybody, to... Oh, I know the date. March 8th, 2024 at 9.30 p.m. Oh, you're putting yourself on a shot clock, my guy. Yep. How's yep. how's editing every single thing we do now on a time crunch going? Uh, I edited the last podcast in like two days, mostly. Wait, the two one days. that's going to come out tomorrow? tomorrow. Or Oh, like shoot. Days. Is that done? Is that mm-hmm. ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go, baby boy. Um... You know, I don't, don't want to make this whole convo about like editing up top, but I am curious, like in the weeks where I'm having CNS videos, are you planning on doing like Elden Ring edits in that time? Okay. There's my boy! There he is! There he is, the white Beano, horse. I love you so much. Thank you the for taking some time to join here. us. So, Happy to be here. Ty, you don't, you don't know, or maybe you do, I'm not sure, but Ben here... He has been a long time FWSX viewer. He has been uh, still watching. Really? He's still waiting. This Why? guy here. Well, he's he thinks that we're st- we still might upload at some point, which waiting. is crazy. I mean, I'm not against um, it. Yeah. So this this guy right here. Um, not not to like give too much lore because we've mm-hmm. we've been over it before, but this show started because Ben years ago kept messaging me asking me to do YouTube videos back when we were doing FWSX, and we like followed each other on Twitter and everything. And then, however many years later, he was like, "Okay, but now seriously, do you want to do something?" And I said, "Yes." So the reason why this guy is here is because he's a big Tyler Hosbino fan. Specific Joe's Bino. I'm sorry. I, it, it's. <laughs> But no, specifically. Ah. Well, I saw. See, listen. I I've seen all every every video that you've uploaded. I've seen the uh, mm. the demo reel or whatever it was called. I've seen the Bionicles fighting. I think that was you. Um, Probably I've, me. I've yeah. seen the. I've seen the. Definitely wasn't me. I've seen the video that made me think that Ethan was gay. The uh, the one with that with Isaiah. <laughs> I think you. I think you. Oh, oh the one that you guys the, shot at York. The well, there's two. There's the one with lamps, and then the. Emoji one, the lamps one. I yeah. I don't know if I'm familiar with the emoji one. Really? It was was it Ethan? It was either Ethan or Isaiah. It goes like emoji. <laughs> and that's, okay, that one, I don't know what you're talking. I'm gonna I don't have even know to that. go. I'm gonna have to go down a rabbit hole of my own and figure out what this emoji video is after the fact because I missed oh, out on like this. Omg, is that the idea? Um. <sighs> I think so. I so like it was about like the main concept was uh, like uh, an emoji killed either Isaiah or Ethan's parents, or no, it was Isaiah's parents, and like he's afraid of the emojis. But that like that's the ending joke to it all, and we're talk like we're talking to him trying to like understand this, like understand his angle, while Ethan wants to fuck the emojis. I, I, I think that's why you think he's them? gay is because he was gonna fuck the emojis. Maybe, maybe it was like a guy look like a, a masculine emoji, and he was trying to fuck it. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't remember. I'm so I I had like a whole plan of like what to talk about if no one joined, and it's been completely thrown off because I'm just so happy seeing Ty's beautiful little face. Ty, I don't know if you. Uh, I'm sure I've communicated this this to you a billion times, but I feel so bad for like not talking to you for like a year. And just randomly re-encountering you in an Xbox party. Like honestly, I think that's a fault of my own, really, because like, like, as you or you may or may not know, I'm not in New York anymore. So like, I'm not no longer working for the previous place. And like, when I was there, like, like I'm trying to find like. Ooh. It I get t- it. You don't, you, it took you don't me out of my this. zone. Yeah. Like, like I jump. I would used to like jump on Xbox happily, like talk to you guys. I would do a, like a bunch of things, but like in New York, it was like it was more restrictive. And like at the same time, like I could still do those things. Like something would distract me there that like I wouldn't like go through with any of it. And like. If I were to talk to any of you guys, it'd be because you guys would have to plan it out and like actually you guys would have to ask me. It's not just like like uh, 
just from time to time pop up say hey like i'm here like what's up guys yeah it was i don't know I, i'm someone that's always liked to maintain somewhat of a friendship with as many people as i possibly can right but then i feel bad for about a quarter of those people because a quarter of the relationships i maintain from like years past end up just being me texting people once a week like hey what's up yeah. <laughs> not, not not too much and then nothing happens um but you know Obviously, you make so much stuff together, and it's like, man, I wish I talked to Ty more. But um, I'm happy you seem to be doing well. It's uh, it, better now. It's interesting. I mean, I'm happy that you're doing better now. And not that I knew how you were doing before, <laughs> other than just the context that you just gave me just now. But um, it's interesting that you, when you were guys were doing your, your group channel stuff, mm-hmm. you guys kind of went in your own direction. A lot of you guys went in your own directions, and you kind of, you know, had your own, like... It's the lamest boy band breakup. It's that. You got to 300 and, like, what, 80 (laughs) subscribers, and then you go down to having a 139 subscriber YouTube channel directly after that. Um, But the the thing that I I was really... uh, That's really... That really interests me is that you guys all kind of went in your own way. I still Mm -hmm. talk to pretty much all... Pretty much everybody from to this day, I still talk to everybody that was I was on the group channel with, which I just find I just find it interesting. Um, I think it's because it. I don't know about you guys. I don't know how your guys group stuff started, but my group stuff started because I wanted to play Minecraft with my friends and record it because I thought it was funny. I don't know. Yeah. Well, we didn't know. We met Ty. Like me saying we, I mean me and Ethan, because Ethan yeah. and I have been friends since we were like seven years old. Yeah. Um, Ty, we met through. Do you remember Halo Robot Chicken Ben? Hazardous Entertainment. Yep. Yeah. No, I, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Halo Robot Chicken was clearly a parody of the Adult Swim show Robot Chicken, but it was like yeah. a machinima version of that show. And it was surprisingly pretty popular. For its day, it did good numbers, if I remember correctly. Um, in our very first video, we just put like a post on their form if anyone wanted yeah. to help make a video. And, uh, you know, Ty, Ty reached out. And then so that was it was kind of I guess it started off more of a. You know, I guess a little bit transactional, but wait, I think wait, we wait. ended up just playing stuff. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, oh okay. You posted on their forum. I posted on their yeah, forum. Yeah, like Hazardous you, had their own, like, their whole website dedicated it. to it and, like, uh, members reaching out to one another, like, building a community. Yeah. Okay. So when you said forum, you said form, and that confused the fuck. I was like, oh, it was like a Google form type of deal? Oh, no, no, no. Gotcha. Google, okay. This so is pretty like Google, Google forms. Thing. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So it was, it, it, I mean, it was a halo. It was a halo. Everybody came together kind of just because of yeah. To do a halo machinima, yeah. yeah. Again, aside from Ethan and I, who had, who had previously been friends. And Ty, I don't know if you're going to be embarrassed by me saying this or not, but the nah. most endearing part about Ty was he sent in, like, a, not a resume, but, like, a portfolio of, like, everything on his YouTube channel, which, like, you, you sent, like, a couple different videos, if I remember correctly. I did? Yeah, I think you sent in, like, your Lego stop motion videos or something. That's what as, was, like, not a, My bad. I, yeah, as, like, yeah. a here's, like, what I'm, here's, like, what I'm capable of. And Ethan and I, being dumb kids, were just not expecting anyone to take it seriously at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? So to get, like, a, a well-written message back with, like, previous works and whatnot um, d- tickled me a little bit. That's well, interesting. A good How way. old were you? Yeah. Was I? I'm sorry, you cut out. All right, how, how old were both of you? Oh, I w- this was like, what, 2012, maybe? 2012, mm, so 2013, 2012, something like that? I, was... I would have been 14. And so then, I w- 2012, I was 16. That sounds... Is that right? I think that's right. Yeah, 20, well, 2012... Yeah, 2012, because 2014 high school senior year, which is like 18 normally for people. So minus two years, that would be around 16. So maybe 15, 16, 17, like depending mm-hmm. on the day. Yeah, I didn't start my group channel until I was like, I didn't realize how much older I was than you. You're a little bit older than me. Yeah. You're what? You're 25 now. I'm 25 going on 26. Oh, I'm almost fucking 30, bro. I'm 28 years old. Fucking shoot That's me with same. a gun. Join three, the club. Three, three, three years, years time. Yeah. Yep. Th- three well, year time gap isn't crazy. I look like I'm fucking 40. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I've been stopped in places, to, like, because they'd have to verify my age. But do, do you have a, do you, can, has, you, can you go, can you, can you go facial hair or no? I, I shaved right before this. 
and mm-hmm. like it, it's only it stubbles. It's like stubbles yeah. from like here to here, but and like nope. in here, but no. Do you As, get carded a lot? If I go to a place like that need carding, yeah. Have you ever like has Zach ever told you about uh, me on a cruise ship? Oh no, I haven't. I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't think he has. Yeah, uh, I know what you're gonna say. This has been so long ago, though. Do, uh, it's been do you a while for me. I do remember it. So, uh, a cruise ship I like to go on with my family when we're able to do so is uh, the Carnival Cruise Line. And one of the main attractions on it that gets me interested is there's a comedy club. And, like, not every night, but most nights, they have four shows. There's two for general audience and two for adults. So that year, which was, I believe it was my graduation, so 2018, no, 2014, or whenever I had, like, just become... Yeah, it was all right. It was a senior year. It was 18. Like I became a a legal adult. So like it was. I'd like to see an illegal adult. Right. (laughs) So it was one of the first adult shows. I'm like, yeah, I want to see this This is my first time. This is going to be great. I can't wait to see like uh, how drastic a change of it of the comedy it is. So uh, we went to the first show. It was great. I loved it. But then there's a second show. And I was there with my mom because she wanted to see the show. But, and for the second show, she's like, I want to do my own thing. Like, enjoy the show. So I'm like, perfect. Just me. Like, this is awesome. I got a seat right up front because I I had been there already for an hour since the last show. I'm, I'm so scared. I don't want to interrupt your story, but yeah. I bought tickets to a comedy show like a year ago. And I'm, I'm the type of person that's like, oh, I'm going to get a good seat. Mm-hmm. Well, if I'm going to go mm-hmm. to this mm-hmm. thing that I like, I'm going to get a good seat. And then I started thinking about what being like front row at a comedy show includes. And I was like, mm-hmm. I instantly mm-hmm. got scared. I bitched out of that decision so quick. See, me being naive, like I'm like the only thing I'm thinking about is enjoying a good show. So that's the only thing I'm like front center row. Like there are no chairs, like no one's in the, any of the seats around me. I'm at a table by myself. I'm, I'm me. I'm like just waiting for the show to start and it starts. And I, I remember the guy's name. We're friends on Facebook. So <laughs> I have his CD. You want to give a so shout he, out? Uh, Thomas Brown. I believe that's, that should Let's be his Thomas name. Brown. Let's go, Thomas Brown. Like, Hell yeah. So if he's Come still on the acting, podcast, Thomas Brown. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would love to. I like. I'd love to talk to him again. I hope Can he's we doing do well. Reach out? I hope he's I mean, doing comedy still. I, I I hope he's doing comedy still, but I secretly hope he's not doing well, so that way he would agree to come on the podcast. <laughs> we could get you in a reunion. But that's it. Aside from that, I, I hope the best for Thomas Brown. Well, no, we got yeah. what we got to do is we got to get Thomas Brown on the podcast and see mm-hmm. who he like went to a comedy show for, and then get them on the podcast, and then it's just like a mm-hmm. continual an ever long chain until yeah. that person ends up dead. You right. Know? Exactly. <laughs> No, I mean, like, would be dead because you'd go so far back. That's what I mean. We're not going to kill a guy unless you want to. Maybe for the joke to work, maybe for the joke, maybe just to land. I'd be down for for a little bit of murder. Yeah. For the right punchline, Ty would kill a guy. Right. Money's not an object. It's the it's the joke line, like punchline. It's the punchline. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. (laughs) Money is the punchline. (laughs) Yeah. What is the punchline? <laughs> See, the biggest joke about being a comedian is that you get paid. <laughs> Even if you kill someone. <laughs> Even if you kill someone. Has there been a comedian that's killed someone? I'm trying uh, to sure there, there might, there there might be soon. Be. I mean, I'm sure there's like, aren't there like a lot of comics that like are fresh out of prison, right? Like like prison comics. Like this, Didn't that used to be like a popular thing? Like a rough out of prison comic? I don't know. Wait. I think it'd be crazy if there hadn't already been a movie and I'm blanking. Of course, there's probably a movie out there where a comedian goes around and like he failed on his career and he's just instead of killing people, he's uh, I, instead of killing people with jokes, he's killing people literally. Ooh, that, oh, I feel ooh. like they made a movie called the J- Joker. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. But like, <laughs> yeah. based on a real story, I'm thinking. Gotcha, gotcha. What if Joker was based on a real story? 
We can make we could we could make the story that 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 adapts to. Like we could just go kill people. I mean, I don't want to ruin ruin my life, so I will (laughs) pass on that. I'm down. Ben, I have, a, I have a question for you, and I, right. I, I, I do have a question for you, Ben. Would you consider this show comedy? Mm-hmm. Huh. I put it under the comedy section, I think, in the in YouTube. So I, I know. Guess. Well, honestly, that was what my next question would be: is Should you? Would you, if you were to restart, put this under like entertainment or comedy or whatever? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. But, like in, is- in, in, in before you answer that specific, like in general, I know this show is funny. Do you think it's comedy though, or do we just is this just quote unquote entertainment, big well, quote unquote that just so yeah. happens to kind of be funny sometimes? Yeah, well, it's like yeah, it's like I I don't want to say lifestyle is not the right word, but it's like it's just lifestyle like, content. <laughs> lifestyle. It's we gotta do next saying, time I go out to Cleveland, we gotta do get ready with me content. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's like it's like very just human. Like in, 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 in you know, I'm just we're just talking. We're just having a conversation most of the time. Right. Is so, um. Yeah. Speaking of flying out to Cleveland and film stuff, did did Brian have a bad time filming us for this new content? He said did it he was, say he would do it he again. He said it was fun as fuck. He had a mm, great okay. time doing it. Yeah. I was gonna say if but, he was upset by it, I'd be like, Ty, I will pay you out. <laughs> I will pay you to come out and be a videographer oh, be for, so for a weekend. Awesome. All right, give me um, a camera. Like I'll do yes, what I we can. Have, can. We have a studio. We I have, wait, the I right just, it's nowhere. It's on the op. We have a. We literally do have a studio. The <laughs> issue is, it's just on the opposite side of the country from where I live. So I have to fly out to make yeah. those fucking YouTube videos. Um, f- f- let's pause for a second, Zach. You're being a little interrupter. Tyler, I'm sorry, Tyler Josbino. I want you to take story. over. I, I know this is your big moment to talk to Ty. So yeah. go ahead and ask all of your questions. Yeah. Get it Who's all out. Who's story? Let him finish the story. Riff. Yeah. Oh my god, you're right. He was telling a story. <laughs> Fucking asshole, I'm such dude. an awful person. <laughs> no, I, you're fine. I hate myself. Yeah, he's an ass. Yeah. You're good, Zach. Or can I call you Kem? I'm just more used you to can, Kem. You can still call me Kem if you want. Cool. Sure. Kem we have, really? We, Is that a thing? Yeah. Well, he Kem? calls me by my gamer tag, Chemical Paint on That's Xbox. Awesome. That's awesome. But he shortened it to Kem. It was either Kem or Chemikyle. Chemikyle was because of Ethan. I don't know where that came from. I think Chemikyle annoyed me because what what Chemikyle was was people like on in like game chats would say Mm -hmm. that to me. Mm. Like in like in Modern Warfare 2 lobbies would say that to me as like an insult for some reason. And it it never made sense to me. Like why that would should be insulting. And that got on my nerves. Huh? Have you met a nice Kyle? I have a Coke sponsorship. Anyways, (laughs) um, I, I I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I'm not going to go through the Rolodex of every Kyle that I've met. But I think the reason why Kemma Kyle upset me was because people thought it upset me. Mm-hmm. And that in a weird way upset me even more that like I didn't get why people thought that would upset me but kept doing it. Anyways, go on with your story. I mean, I won't lie for a while. I say your name wrong too, by the way. My name? Yeah, I say Hosbino still. Uh, and I know you claim that whatever. that's not what your name is. I don't care. I've never cared. I will admit, for a time, I thought Kyle was your name, <laughs> but, but no. somewhere down the road, I realized it was Zach, and I'm like, yep. I'm happy you went down that road. Forget that last part. Resuming the story, uh, let's see. So I'm in the front row, waiting for the show Thomas to start. Brown. Thomas Brown. And the show finally starts. He starts doing his routine. It's funny. Personally, I thought he was funnier than the last guy, so I'm really enjoying it. And since like I'm in the front, he sees me cracking up. But at one point, he just stops his entire set. He looks straight at me and he's like, are you old enough to be here? What the and fuck? the moment he says that he has the MC come up on stage because I'm right next to the stage. That's where I'm seated. Uh, he bends down to me. He asks, like, hey, can I see your ID? I'm like, sure. And I give it to him and he runs off stage to check. The whole time, I'm just staring at the comedian, and he's staring right back at me. Because I don't, like, I don't know what the crowd's thinking. I don't want to look back and see what the crowd's thinking. Yeah, right. I and we're just there. staring at each other, like, for the longest time, until the MC comes back. He whispers to, the, uh, to Thomas. He's like, yeah, he's old enough to be here. And he gives me back his ID, my ID and runs off. So... After that, like he has to break the mood. So he's like, so now 
his next big thing is to throw all these jokes toward me to like to lighten the mood to lighten the atmosphere so like he's making all these jokes about me he like there's a table behind me full of uh like older women he has them come over and like sit around me during the show and like that's my props guy. to him i mean <laughs> to be fair though they were like older older women so like that was like, like what, a 60s 70s uh, like i think like it ranged in, like 20s to 30s to 50s to 60s like oh, okay. it was a weird grouping of it but like we meet after the show we have a good laugh like down the line i got a cd of his and it was it was just a lot of fun it was memorable to say the least that's, that's a wild no crew story that's, that's like, great why did uh, thomas say, brown at add, add you on facebook yeah I, like I, I found him here i see i see his profile it says your mutuals with him so i know it's the yeah it yep. still says on his bio that he's he works for Fly On Comedian as a Fly On Comedian at Carnival Cruise Line. Still, oh, that's what sweet. it says. Awesome. So, Let's go. I don't see know if it. he's updated that. What is Carnival our, Cruise Line? Is it an actual cruise? Yeah, it's a whole. You've uh, never heard of it's Carnival a whole Cruise? Line of them. I'm Carnival never, Cruise is like one of the boat, largest like, cruise lines. Yeah. That exist. But that's fair. Hmm. Well, yeah, we got to get him on. We got to get. Uh, we got to get the one funny man on. I mean, like, well, if we, we can, we can send him messages again, after this. Like, he's wished me happy birthdays in the past. Like, I think we've talked from time to time. That's huge. So, that's a massive. Like, he was a cool guy. So, like, if our paths cross again, like down the line, I'm cool, awesome. I oh, dude, I'm so hyped. We got it. Tommy's coming on the pod. I it's know. Happening. Speaking of big gets, this is going to be, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to plug. At the end of this episode, we talked to the great Isaiah about the dissolving Ooh. of rooster teeth. But I'm also uh, using this yeah. as a transition bit to talk about something else that Ty did. And that it was interview Bernie Burns on the, um, oh, yeah. at, at your college radio show. Yeah. Yeah. I know that I've heard this before, but I just, just as someone that spoke to him, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to limit you if you genuinely want to talk. But I know you said you didn't have too much to say about it. But crazy like, story. Uh, honestly, no. So at the time, like I was in college and I was doing a radio show. It was the radio station was called WVYC. So plug out to them. Like they're still going, of course. The uh, head honcho of the radio station, Jeffrey Schiffman. He's a great guy. Awesome dude. Like. Full props to him. Like whenever I go back visit the college, I make sure to say hi to him when I can. Like, like I I've never had like a bad experience with any of the teachers there, or like experiences I did have there. Like it was all like I loved it all. But my show there was a uh, time out with Ty, where I would talk about Great like move. Like thank you. Like I would talk about movie topics, like just uh, concepts in movies, shows, like just in general like really analyzing them and whether or not it was interest interesting and like popular i have no idea i don't care like i was mm. a i just spoke my mind had a good time but from time to time i wanted to sprinkle in like uh, the guests on the show whether it was like uh, friends from campus or like i think was i able to get like you and Ethan on the show. Yeah, at we one were on point? the very first episode, I thought, because we yep. found out. Because you, you remember. I mean, we're still like this a little bit, yeah. but back then we were especially uh, just aggressive with mm -hmm. how funny we thought we were and in inserting ourselves into everything. And once we heard that you had a, an actual radio show, I think we bothered you for like a week to get on. And we, I remember, I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I was in high school at lunch break. So I'm in and I went to like a gigantic high school that had like a campus yeah. to it. Right. So it's not like in a cafeteria. I'm like outside, but still like at school, like everyone's hanging out and eating lunch. And I'm I call the I call you and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm on a radio show. And I must have sounded like an insane person <laughs> that that I was walking around my high school at lunch talking like I'm doing a pretend character on a radio show, you know? Yeah, uh, like, but I, I remember big, that the biggest thought in my mind at the time was like, since it was one of my first shows, like I wasn't sure how calling people in was going to work. Like I was kind of like I was nervous. 
that I wouldn't press the right buttons in order for you to get on in the first place, or rather like the audience would be able to hear you in the first place. So it didn't sound like I was talking to myself, talking to you guys like off, like off audio, I guess, or off recording. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But like, uh, very side, quick side tension of it. One of the best experiences I had with that radio show wasn't even from my show because uh, I had another friend who was doing his own show. I don't remember what he called his show, but like he did uh, similar topics to mine or like he was talking with uh, similar friends of ours. Like he did it in a group. I like to do it solo because I don't know why it's just how things worked out. Like what it's just what I preferred. And like he was doing his show And, like, I knew his birthday was coming up. So I was like, hey, wouldn't it be crazy if, like, I surprised him during the show? Or, like, not, like, not during the show because that would be, like, it would, like, uh, it would mess up the broadcast or, like, uh, like, it could cause problems. So I was thinking at the time, like, hey, he's uh, really into, at the time, a nostalgia crick. So... Oh, I went boy. up to their website. Uh, their big thing at the time was watching the movie It, or not watching, uh, reviewing the movie It. And I got a signed version of the poster, and I was gonna going to like hang it from a like a see through window in the studio to show like, hey, like, hey, this is for you, Marvin. That's his name. No. So I was thinking that, but then I also thought like, hey, like let's take this a step up. And I found like his his best friend who lives in Maryland and the college is in Pennsylvania. And like I found him on Facebook. I'm like, hey, like I hear you're Marvin's best friend. How would you feel about like surprising him at campus? He's like, shoot, I'm all for it, but I don't have a way to get to campus. So I drove up to Maryland. I picked him up, drove him back down and like. Like we're waiting in the studio, so but in the corner, so he can't see us, and we hear him wrapping up. So as he's wrapping up, he's doing like his final bits. He's doing like the taglines he has to do at the end of the show, and we just show up in the window of like the broadcast room, and we're just waving to him, and he, like he stifles a little freak out because of course he's still on air. He has to act professional, but like. He officially, like, he hangs up the broadcast, he puts it back on whatever, like, uh, the outro is, and like, he just runs out to us, and, like, it's a, like, it, it's a it's rush a heart- of emotions, and it, yeah, like... a heartwarming moment. Yeah. Yeah. But then, uh, to tie back to uh, Rooster Teeth, uh, I had heard at the time that the best way to actually get in contact with people at Rooster Teeth was not by emailing, but by sending a letter. So it's like, uh, this is an old way to do it, but like, what's harm? So I typed up like to Bernie, like in, I don't even know what I wrote in the letters. Like, hey, I do a, a show. Would you be able to, in your off time, like do a quick recording with me? It wouldn't have to be on like live on air, just like a small live uh, interview that I can conduct with you on the side. And I, uh, I don't even know where I sent it. I guess I sent it through the school, but like I sent it and I wasn't expecting a response like weeks go by or I think maybe a week. I don't know, but I got an email that from a user I had like I wasn't aware of, like I wasn't familiar with it, but it said it was from Rooster Teeth. So it's like, I hope this isn't a scam email and I opened it and it was from Bernie. It's like, yeah, I'd be happy to do a side, like, a uh, interview with you. Like, and we exchange a few words back and forth. We set up a date to do it. And, like, from what I remember of it, I don't even know if I... No, I did air it, and I probably still have the file of it somewhere. I was going to ask, where do you I know where that would that be? I need that yeah. file. I need that <clears throat> file. I I'd have to look for it because it was on, like it was on the Google Drive of the school and then they like after a certain time like you leave the school they completely wipe it 
but I made sure to save it. So it's somewhere on my computer. I just don't know where it is. I would love to hear that again personally. Yeah. But from what I remember of the, like from the interview, like he seems like a really cool and genuine guy. There was, it wasn't like at any point I thought like, uh, this guy's a little bit weird. Like this was not what I'm expecting from like all the times I've like heard him from podcasts or like, uh, the rooster teeth shorts or like this like he just seems like a genuine guy like, i mm. don't know what went on behind the scenes like mm-hmm. i just act as uh, general questions for like the viewers and stuff like that and so to transition into rooster teeth rooster teeth for me was a place ideally that i've that I would want to work at. And for a long time, I did want to work at Rooster Teeth. It was a place where, uh, in my mind, it would like, you could have multiple jobs. Like you weren't stuck in one position. So like, uh, you want to be a director at one time, but like you want to be an editor the next, or like, like you're comfortable with editing, but sometimes like they need someone like, uh, uh, to act for like a certain production or like talking on a podcast. Sure. Why not? Like the ability to do multiple jobs instead of just the same job and like to have a, a different rotation to it. Like that's always been like, and to this day, it's something I would like love to go for one day with a company or by myself. However, like the cards laid themselves out. But- and, but like as I watched Rooster Teeth throughout the years, like stuff happened, scandals and stuff like that. Like, but working for them was less and less of like uh, something I wanted to do. I was checking out less stuff by them, but at the same time, like I appreciated the work they did do. Like it may not be stuff like that interested me anymore, but I appreciated their efforts. I appreciated what they were doing for their fans. Like the genuine genuine work and the genuine people there like yeah. everything they strove for they strived for and like now to see them closing like i can't say i'm not surprised but like it, it sucks it yeah. does suck but did you ever take a stab at applying for any positions over there oh of course like through linkedin or whatever uh like they would always post those jobs like uh like uh, a camera operator intern or like a uh, remote editor. Like at the time I, and I'd argue still to this point, like I don't have enough on my, like on my resume to like warrant like them even looking my way. That's bullshit. I still, well, that's bullshit. Ty, I'm going to, I'm going to say something and I feel like it's going to give you massive imposter syndrome. Are you prepared for that? Go because for it. I, I think I, think I already it, feel it. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. But like even even when I was younger and I met you and I was a kid, the the I feel like out of everyone I knew, you taught me the most lessons about like persisting, right? Like I remember even when I met you when you were like 15, 16, 17, whatever, however old you were, you were like going to school full time and working a job and saving money and working for us and trying to go do this stuff. The idea that you thought in your mind, I'm going to interview Bernie Burns and you wrote out a letter and sent it in the mail and it worked is just like a testament to your like persistence and resilience. I don't know if you want to mention what your last job was on this show. I'm not going to put you in that position, but the, and I know you weren't doing exactly what you wanted to do, but there are other people out there who like, you know, if they had that opportunity would have bent over backwards to do that. And I know that you're not exactly where you want to be right now. I'm sure you're a little bit happier than where you were, but that's not the point. Um, you know, I and I know the work that you've done before as as well too. And I I am a full time video editor. Maybe not. Um, you know, I am a I am I am a full time video editor. I am. So I I know that you have what it takes because I know you and I know the type of person you are and I know what your experience is. And I don't know. I I I don't want to see you like limit yourself in that in that mindset. You know. Um. You can do whatever you want to do. And maybe it requires a little bit of extra work in your situation yeah. right now. Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe you think I'm hyping you up too much or something. I don't care. That's act genuinely how I feel. 
Well, I appreciate that. Like, honestly, I don't th- like. I don't think anything is really too unrealistic. Like anything can happen at any point, and it's like just one of those things for me. Like, in my mindset is like just keep moving forward with what you have. Like, apply for the positions, apply for the opportunities when they present themselves or like go out your way of course to find those opportunities and like apply for them yourself um uh, like work with what you have do as much with it or excel or exceed what you do have in order to do or like get to other places and like eventually it'll work out like it could be a day it could be a week it could be a month who knows it takes time yeah yeah for sure. Could be, like, could be well, two years and in three months, Ben. Who knows? I, I'll cut down the I don't fucking know what date. Specifically, <laughs> I don't know what specifically the time is on any of this. Um, so here's a question. Yeah. Uh, I think I think we all kind of have the same uh, general idea of kind of where we want to be as a dream job. But I'll ask the question after I think what I want to do. I yeah. would like to work at some sort of new media conglomerate. Um, being an editor of some sort, I don't even, I don't really care to be even talent. I just like, I like the, the edit, editorial process. So now yeah. I'll, I'll throw it to you, Zach. Boom. Catch it. Catch um, it, pussy. Catch it. Catch it. <laughs> there you go. Um, it's weird because like on paper, I am currently doing, no, wait, you said dream job. Yeah. Yeah. Like what is your, what is your dream career? Gonna be. My dream job is what I'm doing now, but either for myself or some really, really dope people that let me have a lot more creative freedom and pay me a lot more money. But, you know, strip back from that. Uh, the, what I'm doing right now for work is what I've been trying to do, like, since forever. There's issues I have with it. And Ty, I think you can resonate with this experience as well, too, is that, like, you know, just because you kind of get into where you want to be, then yeah. it doesn't get rid of like work issues. You know no. what I mean? And th- then you could still be in like a different like work space. But, you know, I don't want to be too dramatic about that. I love everyone I work with and I truly, truly, truly love my job and what I do. Um, and then on top of that, I get to do shit like this where it's like, you know, I, I obviously put a lot of effort into like, how do I try to get views and market this shit? Like, I clearly do care about that. But ultimately, at the end of the day, if I could just, you know, talk to my boys and be creative, I'm I'm having a good time. You know what I mean? There so, you go. Yeah, uh, that's the dream. But, right, exactly. but again, ideally, I'd like to build something yeah. Yeah, somewhere. Agree. Absolutely. Agree. All right, now pass. pass you got to. <laughs> I'm going to do a football throw. <sighs> Uh, I, I have a quite oh, the arm, huh? He missed it. He hit it for the. Question. I killed him. I killed my boy. <laughs> yeah, what, what's I've abandoned name? my I child. <laughs> yeah, what's so? so is, is is your dream uh, career kind of the same idea, Ty, or no? Um, I want to say so. Like so, I said like a job like Rooster Teeth uh, for the longest time, and probably right now, like is what I would want to do. Like, I want to be part of a company where, like, I'm working as an editor. I'm working, like, in the position I've always wanted to do. But, like, I also have, like, I have creative opportunities or creative abilities to, like, uh, to expand it, like, however possible. Like, may take on multiple roles, uh, like, have... A, a group of people like a team a team of people that i can rely on i can trust like that we work off each other like favorably like like to have a genuine co- connection with them but uh that's i mean that's sort of part of it now so like from where i last worked um now i can i'll just say it i worked for uh I worked at a place called 40 Acres and Emile Filmworks. If you don't know where that is, um, look up director Spike Lee. It's his uh, film network. And the last project I worked on with them before, like before leaving, because my position at the company was no longer there, it was for a documentary. Uh, whether that documentary will come out or not, which is why I can't really put on a resume right now, 
is to be determined. I hope it comes out because like my name's on it. So that'd be awesome to have like, could you put like the unreleased project or something on a resume or is that kind of, eh, it could, I, I think I'm assuming you signed NDAs for it. Clearly. Did I? Leak it. No, I'm Gross, kidding. Gross funny no. contracts and not remembering. I mean, I, I, I assume I did at some point, but I mean, like, he's made, uh, like, he's had interviews about it. So, like, it's up there. So, like, unreleased documentaries, like, the latest one, what is it? It's 2024 now. So, look back past two years, like, oh, this was a documentary he, that was supposed to come out by now. Where is it? Oh, well, I guess it probably got shut shut down or yeah. like was unreleased but while i was working on it i worked with a bunch of freelance editors and like in the beginning of the project all i was doing was like matching media like bringing media in so that the real editors like i call they were the, the real, real editors. editors they were actually because they were actually editing it like they were what i wanted to be doing but like uh they take the media they put it into the film they're showing uh uh, they're showing Spike. Uh, they're doing like they're doing all these shows, like or not shows. They're just showing their work. They have multiple meetings, and eventually, because one of the editors like left. I'm trying to think, is there another word for it? No, they they basically left. Um, because there was a vacancy, I was able to fit in more or like be brought in more on like. So more of the editing realm. I showed stuff. I cut stuff up. I was able to do more actual stuff on the uh, on the project itself. But the biggest thing I got to do while I was there with the editors, I got to listen to them. I got to listen to like where. Ooh, that's like, a, it's a key thing right there. Like they're all freelance editors. They're like none of them are main mainstays. So like to hear like how they got to that position, how they got to working with Spike, like what's their experience with working with Spike? And like being freelance is cool in a lot of aspects. And they're all freelance editors, so of course like they're like they're happy with it. But they also constantly said like how they were miserable. Or like not miserable, like a lot of time it just seems like uh, more often than not, they were saying like there was bad stuff to being a freelancer. Like you're at the will of uh, the director. You're at like the will of the project as a whole. Like, if- Wouldn't you say that would be the case, though, for like a like a full time, like non freelance position, though, that you're at still at the will of the producer, director, whoever? Right. But like. I'd say the difference is because like uh, being full time, like you're the, you can like in a sense, like if you get fed up with uh, your boss or something like you can quit and you can like hopefully go out, find an- another job, find another company you can work with and work with them being freelance. Like it's harder to quit from I think from my understanding of it, it's a bit harder to like get out there because like in the very beginning, you're like you signed a, a contract to work a certain amount and like to be there to like to completion of the project, like no matter what. I don't know how the one person was able to get like got out there in the first place. But I, what I remember from them, like they were like they were angry They were miserable. They wanted to get the hell out of there, like do their own stuff. And I don't know how they managed to do it, but they got out of there. Well, I assume that there's a certain level of like tenure you get by being a mainstay where it's like there's a little bit of more trust by the person, like the producers or whatever, the directors or whatever the fuck people overseeing your work. Whereas freelancers, you kind of, they're kind of just like put in a box, do this, please. You know what I mean? I'd assume, I don't know. You probably but, get assigned more conveyor belt work. Yeah. But, and from my understanding, like it, like being a freelancer, like uh, you can sign up for a project, but you don't know, like you're, you're going into an unknown environment. Like it could be a, like no problem, like easy working environments where like uh, 
people are friendly, like the environment itself, like the hours are are fine, like they're like everything keeps on schedule, everything keeps on track. So like you knew what you to expect going in. Oh, like you don't know what to expect going in. But you're hoping like everything's just streamlined, like you got a cut and paste like uh like what they want and to what to expect, what to what you're getting into. Like there's a lot of unknown variables going in. And then maybe it's just like for this specific company that like the more they were going on in the project, the more like uh more complex like uh intricacies would occur and so like uh sometimes like uh, there were longer hours from time to time there was complete overhauls of the project from time to time sometimes like there was like whole new additions like months into the project for a project that should have been done in a year it took like over two years to do so like uh, they expected to be like gone and out like a lot earlier so they could move on with their life and do other stuff with their life, but they're stuck there. Hmm. So, but now that's like they're under contract, like there's like, there's not much they can do about it. They just have to go along with it and hope it works out. That's interesting. I don't think I could deal with a two year time horizon. And I was thinking that, and then I remembered what Ben's working on. So never mind. <laughs> Come on, dude. It, uh, it, at least you know what's not- funny? I'm the reason why it's not getting done right now, and here I am bullying you about it. Aww. Genuinely, bro, you motherfucker. All right. Um, Do your friends uh, hate me for that? Yeah, no, all of them. Every, I'm even sorry, Evan, Ben's every, friends. Every time Evan sees a new uh, recurgitated upload, he's like, bro, this shit's never getting done. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> you fucking right. How, cl- how um, close is it? How close is it? Can, can we get an update again? Or does it even fr- matter at this point? Six hours. It could be done. Oh. Uh-huh. Ah. Well, next week. Next week, um, no, my CNS is going C- out. I got the fucking CNS to finish editing. No, no. I'm telling you, Ben. Take if if it's six out six hours. Are you sure about that? Are you really no. sure about that? No, I'm not sure. What do you mean? Why are you doing that voice? I don't know. Like it's a rough estimate of like. Yeah. If, it, like, yes, give, me, give me like a, a day's worth to work on. on. Yeah, give me like a day's worth of work. I'm good. I mean, it's so it's so close to done. But wait, hold on. My my quest by the read the, the to, to bring this back to the to the to the, the football question, um, do you guys have that innate fear because everything on the internet moves so fast? You know what I mean. Like companies go go up and then die in like five years. Up, be, top of top of YouTube die in five years. We see it happen time and time again. Do you in your your dream career have do you, do you have that innate fear that your career is going to just go up and then just die, you know, in a, in a shorter amount of time than you like it to? Because like my old man, he's been working. I mean, before he retired, he was working at, working at the same place for 30 years. That is like unheard of in mm-hmm. Internet terms. You know what I mean? Internet content. I mean, Amazon's existed for 30 years. You mean specifically like video content? Oh, yeah. Like entertainment. Have, have pieces. Any new media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I don't know. I mean, like, there's there's like writers of stuff that have like bounced around back and forth, right? Like, I think of there are some people whose careers have kind of remained, you know, um, I would say more project based creators. Like, I think of like Zach Hadel, Psychic Pebble, and like Oni and all them. Mm-hmm. Like, started off doing animations and videos and like the early 2000s and then they keep going up and up and up and up and now they have a show on like Adult Swim and they've maintained. You know what I mean? Like, they've they've they been able to up. like. Yeah. Um, and, you know, clearly there are some YouTubers that have been around from like the very beginning, too, that are still kicking it. But um, I still think like by a numbers game, you're right. Like that's a that's a rarity in most cases. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. You, you're probably right. I do think like the Internet is maturing a little bit. So you're starting to see some more people get some more longevity and, and quote unquote, figure it out. Uh, but at the end of the day. If fear of failure is limiting, if your limiting factor is a fear of failure, then, you know, why are we even having this conversation? 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like if if you're going to sit around and con- I mean, you should be concerned about failure to an extent, right? Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, I absolutely. know it is a massive anxiety. It's an anxiety for me now, and I'm not even like doing anything that crazy. You know what I mean? Um, but if it's going, if it's at the point where you're like wondering whether or not it's like worth it to do something, um, you know, you either need to come to that realization or uh, pick something safer to do. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. I, I, I personally, I, I fear it to shit, but like I, yeah. But it's not stopping you from doing it. If anything, you're more confident than most people in terms of, like, how you make videos. You know the type of shit I had to edit after our Cleveland trip? You don't even know about it, people on YouTube. It's like three people. It's like two people. It's like one person. Shit. Dude, the fucking fucking (laughs) CNS has 100 views right now. Uh, It's it's going up. Yep. We have podcasts with more than that. Um... We do have podcasts with more than that, but our, our channel, my views, dude, that's good. That's no, good. it's great. Well, our, our views started to die pretty drastically. You now we're coming back up. Yeah. And we lost two subscribers today, actually, but it's at 99 <laughs> views. It's going to hit a hundred. I'm telling you, bro. But Ty, how are you feeling? Do you, do, do you feel that innate fear as well? The, the, the like the shit changes so much. <laughs> Ty, Ty like, do you have innate fear? I have uh, Hmm. So, well, I'm in a weird different boat because, like, like, as someone who recently, like, just lost their position, so, like, it was a state position, state, like, everything was going steady, but then the moment, like, it, the project ends, and, like, still having a steady or would seem to have a be a study position at the company. All of a sudden, they tell you like a week before the project ends, "Hey, like your position is no longer needed at the company. So once the project's done, like you're done. But don't hmm. worry, like we'll make sure like on the next project comes along, we'll hire you right back. Like it'll be a come and go thing. This is a time for like to reach out, stretch your wings, fly a bit." Yeah, like stretch your, your resume. Wings. Yeah, like they're ready to like just be ready to come and go, like as the wind goes along. And honestly, like, but like, that's how I feel about this as a whole. Like, sure, like, yeah, like ideally, for like, like I'd like to be at a company, like a like a permanent company, and like I'm doing all this video editing stuff, but and. Like, it's consistent work. It's a consistent company. It's been around for years. So to have no doubt that it's going anywhere anytime fast. But on the other hand, like, there's always that chance that, like, the next day or two, like, the company goes to shit. And now everyone's being fired. What do you do from there? Do you crumble under the weight of it? Or do you just hop on or, like, like... Like go along with the wind, basically, and just try and look for that next opportunity. Because like, if you let yourself fall, it's going to be hard to come back from that. But if you just go along with whatever life hits you, like it may be rough at first, it may be rough for a while, but you will find something. It, but and there's always op- always stuff you can do in the meantime. Like, uh, maybe you can't find an editing job right away. Well, you could go down the street and there's a job at a supermarket. It's not a deal. Maybe it's like it's not what you want to be doing. But now while you're doing that, you can pursue your own creative studies or take that time to actively look and apply for the jobs you would want to have. So that when you do find that opportunity or that opportunity finds you, you're able to jump onto that next board and surf that out however long it goes like you just you have to be willing to like adapt and go along with it i don't want to like get this isn't like sound financial or life advice Mm -hmm. but i think if you listen to a lot of people who quote unquote made it doing what they want to do whether that be musicians youtubers uh filmmakers etc a lot of them have the story of i was fired i was laid off something horrible happened to me and I just took a hail Mary shot and it somehow worked out. 
I think on the flip side of that, there's a lot of people that failed. But at the same time, too, I think that you're in you're in good company. You are in good company failing as long as you can learn yeah. from it. And as I said about you, just be persistent through stuff. But if you don't let it destroy you, then there is always the chance you can bounce back from it and you can just be a like become better as a whole. Like uh, you're going to take in new stuff. You're going to learn from it and just apply that to whatever comes next in life. It's what is the darkest thing you can think of? That, uh, that paint, that paint that makes everything look like a silhouette. What? Oh, Vanta black. There you go. That guy made it like illegal to use it. You know about that? What the fuck? I can't use Vanta yeah. black. Yeah. The guy who invented Vanta. Black. Okay. So Ty, there's, there's a guy out there. He's like this artist. He invented like the darkest black. If you look up Van- okay. Vanta black, it's what it's called. It makes everything look like as Ben saying, there's like, it's like zero, zero light. So like you can't see any depth to anything. Um, it's this crazy looking cool thing. But the guy that made it apparently is like a huge dick and is like hated in the art world. And then once he made this paint, he, um, he like, restricted people from being able to use it. Oh. So, like, yeah, you have to, like, pay a him dick. a ridiculous amount of royalties. Fucking cocksucker, bro. I want to use Vanta Black. How much am I going to pay? Like, I like the color black, so... Well, royalties like, for, that makes royalties me for what? What if I just want to, like, paint my wall black? I got to pay royalties for my wall? Give me, the, give me this rate. Give me this rate. I'll make it better. Uh, hold on. I'm looking it up. Oh, this worries me. They have to have like a license it. to use it. That's it. Uh, $20 per cubic inch. Quora, Quora is restricting me from viewing actual answers unless I start <laughs> a free trial. The no, fuck? So Pass. Stupid. Don't do it. Hold on. Nice. Uh, Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey. What am I looking at? Hello. It's a Cracker Barrel <laughs> helpline. <laughs> We had. No. <laughs> I thought we got rid of these geezers. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Where am I? What is that shit, dude? What is happening? Wow, are you here? <laughs> oh, but I was trying to research Vanta Black, the price of Vanta Black, and now I got two old old folks on my Vanta screen. Black. My name's what? My name's Buck. And I'm wild. <laughs> Why are you and so loud, wild? <laughs> Wild, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey Buck. Hey, Wild. How you doing? <laughs> you guys doing I mean, for some wings right now. Ooh. You guys want to get Buffalo Wild Wings before the end of the show? I have no clue what that is. Boy, what is that? Oh, oh boy, like, Buffalo. Oh, it's it's what? wings with a bunch of. <laughs> it's with fucking camera. I can't look at him. I can't look at him. Look at that. I've never seen He's that. He's got a bug on his screen. <laughs> what? what? Are you flying? <laughs> Help me. There's there's a wild bug on my screen. Were you guys in uh, any wars? Oh, bug and wild. Sure. We don't like were, to you talk about the, were you ever in like a plane? Yeah. You ever have to shoot at something? <laughs> yeah, we recently broke off the side of an airplane. Is that Got okay? that little car with it too. Bro, mm. I'm crying. It's so fucking stupid. It's so dumb. <laughs> I'm just so uh, lost. I'm so well, confused. Fucking well, I'm not sure where you were trying to go. Um, I thought we got rid of you guys a long time ago, if I'm being honest with I you. But we died, have a new yeah. friend. It's well, an old friend of mine, I, but new to you. I, our friend of mine. Is, is this is from the last girl. one. Who's this this is girl? Tyler, Tyler Hosbino. He's a uh, li- li- okay. li- Latino. Is it Latina or Latina O if you're a man? Latino, oh, he's right? A, what? Oh, he's one of my Latin exes. <laughs> he's a what? Excuse me? He's, he has a lot of exes. He is a type. <laughs> oh, oh, gotcha. Okay. He's, he gets I'm, around. I am into blondes, so. He doesn't have blonde hair. Used to. He's oh. good. I'm a silver fox, baby. I can't tell that you're a silver fox. <laughs> <laughs> so <funny. laughs> I mean, shave that bush off my lip and I'll <laughs> consider it. Camera, why? What the heck? What's going on? Why didn't anybody say anything? Oh, I'm raising the desk. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'll just. Uh, <laughs> we're good. 
<laughs> so Ben, can can you even remember what we were talking about with Ty no, before no. fucking wild I, I, intercepted I, I, this video that, call? That, fucking, that shit started happening. Dude, that's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we were just, oh, we were gonna. I need mean, something. How do I? What's going on with my computer? <laughs> I don't know. I thought did we were you doing like a visual links? effect. Did you well, click on me? Like, oh, uh, I'm listening to Buck. Yeah, we got a video wow. editor on the show now, so I think he's kind of trying okay. to dissect what's going on on your screen. Yeah, did, there. Did okay, you click you any links? Dissect me. Or, did you? <laughs> did you click any links? Yeah, what point did you press to get here? <laughs> well, we were yeah. trying to get to our doctor's office, and yes. and you thought it was a Cracker Barrel. Uh, turns out we I'm ended related. up here. Yeah, completely unrelated. <laughs> yeah, what were you gonna go to the doctor? We, we, we put two crackers in a barrel and rode down Niagara Falls. <laughs> you, wait, did, did, I look so wait, concerned. Was, was it steamy? Huh? Was it hot in the barrels? <laughs> Who are you? I mean, think about the <laughs> intimacy that you must have had. <laughs> Oh, did you guys have gay sex in the barrel no, going no, down no, no. Niagara Falls? We're brothers, okay? Well, he's, that's gross. He's but, Buck. It was the 50s. <laughs> that wouldn't be lost anyone. There was so much gayer back then. <laughs> so, so this is nothing new then. <laughs> Wait, oh, there was also crackers. a bug going around. You guys were the crackers. I didn't oh, get that part. Oh. I didn't get that part. <laughs> Bro, there's some saltines in that bitch, and I, I had no idea. All right, never mind. Sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> what are we going to the doctor's office for? We lost another yeah. subscriber while we're recording this. <laughs> what have we been up to? Good question. We went right. to the Super Bowl. Okay. Yes, we were at the Super Bowl. Buck what? famously, Buck famously uh, interrupted a school board meeting where there were a bunch of yes. fat, ugly women. A bunch of cowards. <laughs> yeah. What about, what were they? Was this on the news or something? I, I wanted I, to speak my mind. <laughs> yes, he was brave. <laughs> what, did you, what did you speak your mind about? Tell me. Oh, they didn't let me. They, they got me off the stage once I called them all fat and ugly. Okay, what were you going to say? Kind of like you. <laughs> Don't kick me out of here, please. No, 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 no. His mind. We will not let you go to the doctor. <laughs> Don't worry. You will remain undiagnosed. <laughs> And then recently, Buck and I uh, were able to get all the Jewish people in Gotham City into tunnels, and then we blew up the exits. <laughs> um, we're so screwed. <laughs> I oh, forgot no. that that happened. Try to monetize that, Zuckerberg. <laughs> what the hell is going on with my camera? I think, you gotta stop. I, think, I think you guys are going to stop. Ty's trying to get a job in Hollywood. <laughs> oh, God, no. Never. We got yeah. a tunnel that can really get your career going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> um, Isn't it crazy that people hate Jews again or like like them or whatever? Yeah, they're, 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 they're flipped. <laughs> 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 That's right, crazy man. they flipped. That's crazy. They like it. Where are you going with this? <laughs> ben, ben Paquette of the Regurgitated Podcast says, Isn't it crazy people like Jews? <laughs> I, I think it's flipped. It's flipped again. It's flipped. Whatever it was, it was different now. I think. Did they hate him before? Or did they like him? And now they like him. <laughs> you well, tell me, buddy. You definitely the hated them. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Recently happened with the with the, the whole thing. In well, like, these guys blew up one of their tunnels, so they must not be too fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was when we were trying to take over Gotham City. <laughs> what does uh, Gotham City mean? I don't, I don't understand that. Wait, why are you trying to take over Gotham City? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have super villain names? <laughs> My name's Buck, <laughs> and I'm wild, baby. That's not. That's you not guys have like a name together or something. Oh yeah, well the Wings Brothers. The wings Brothers. That's what the Are you trying to get us. to the doctor's office for the bug on your screen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
There's a bug. Okay. Him? What the heck? Yeah, get it. You get it. You got it. My bug says Ben next to it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Dude, how do you feel now? An hour thing. and four minutes into this bullshit. <laughs> I, t- I, 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 I don't. I don't understand. I, I, it feels was, like it's only been minutes. <laughs> Ty, as someone uninitiated with this show, how would you describe it so far? If you, if someone said, "Oh, you were on a podcast," what was the podcast like? What is it about? <laughs> is that I'm just point? questioning what Wild is doing with this shirt. <laughs> is, that is, that, is that the OJ chase? Is that the reverse OJ chase? <laughs> this is what TVs look like in the '90s. <laughs> Show a little bit more skin next time, maybe. This is what the first porn video looked like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, men. Yeah, you gotta finish Someone. that sentence. Someone's gotta fix this camera. <sighs> it's got a bug in it. Wild, do you have anyone there? I wish I was with Wild. I wish we lived together and I could help him. Now I'm in the jungle right now. Ooh. <laughs> oh, don't believe that. What is that? God damn. <laughs> that was a house plant. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> he had a stroke on the stream. Just let it go, Wild. Hold on. Um, I need to take a break to fix something. What are you planning to do at the virtual doctor's office? There's a bug in the screen. They get a diagnosis. Get a tree. <laughs> I've never been prescribed a tree for anything. I have to ask nobody where the vacuum cleaner is. <laughs> I'll deal with it. someone. Will deal with it later. <laughs> Do you have tech support with you? (laughs) I wish somebody was here to help me, but there's nobody except this plant, which I won't touch. (laughs) Because you touched it before you went live on stream. (laughs) Ty says you touch your plant. Ty says when you're alone, you touch your plant. Oh, sure, sure. You stroke your palm. Like, have you ever won? Like, have you ever played a Mario game? Are and you like there's those plants to, that come out the sewer. Are you trying to water me, little girl? I'm just saying now <laughs> we know where they came from. Are you trying to fertilize my soil? I think that's what you're trying to do with the plant next to you. Ooh, la, la. I don't he's I don't know if it's hip shaking or camera to it. I can't uh, Ty, who's that fun kidding. little critter in your background? <laughs> Which critter? <laughs> a little Homer? critter on your wall. Like Homer? Oh, like you got a bug. Well, I don't know. Homie. Homie. Uh, Here, you, I, I got a question. I got a question for you, Ty. I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you... Can you... Uh, can you... Can you uh, ex- uh, explain the layout of your room? Like, can you can you give, it, give, us a, give us a little bit of a tour? Sure. So, I guess that. I actually... <laughs> oh, hello there, sir. There's a, there's a light. Ooh, let's uh, walk let me it. see. Get it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn All right. I guess it's there now forever. <laughs> is this why blow the air in my Is the eyes? blue part of your hair, or is that just the reflection of white? Ty just gonna... turned me on. What happened? He just turned me on. Ah, uh, you missed it. You'll catch it in the recording later. So I was looking at. I was looking this at. Being, you don't have the rights to record me. <laughs> what the heck? This podcast what? is getting recorded. Is the uh, is the is the jungle? How do you know you're in a podcast? Is the jungle? Is <laughs> this the jungle of- visit is getting recorded? <laughs> There you go. That's more like it. Is the jungle a mutual uh, recording state? Like, do you, or is it like, are you allowed to record no, someone? No, it's in it's private. national waters. It's jungle rules. Yeah, yeah you're one rules. of the rules of the jungle. There are I think rules if we talk in about the jungle? It's a yeah. kangaroo court.
or we'll get in trouble. <sighs> yeah, Buck famously has jungle fever. <laughs> famously. 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 I've never heard of him. <laughs> I've heard of that. <laughs> yes, he caught the jungle fever. That's why we had to go to the doctor. I've been sick for 43 years with it. <laughs> Is that what's on your screen? Is his jungle fever? <laughs> I didn't touch him. <laughs> Could you? <laughs> I wish, but we're not in the same place. He's in the jungle. I'm That's here a damn in shame. my apartment. <laughs> that sucks, yeah. Did you guys... Uh... It's just me and my roommate. Yeah, who's your roommate? Yeah, it's this old crazy guy. I don't fucking really know him that well. <laughs> okay. uh, <clears throat> what are the symptoms of jungle fever? I'm actually kind of interested. Like sweating on the feet or something? Yeah, Buck, you should explain it since you have it. Simply. <laughs> 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 Jungle Fever was invented by a man named Spike Lee. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you <laughs> Fuck, that's an actual thing. <laughs> I, I don't know if that needs to be cut or not, if I'm being are honest you, with you. Uh, you can censor us. I don't have to censor you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is just I don't know, censor this. <laughs> Who's editing the doctor's office? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I was going to ask. So the, the, <laughs> why do you have a cough now? I thought you, he didn't touch you. What are you talking about? Uh, who are we talking about? Did they actually, yeah, you were actually right. I don't know. So, uh, <clears throat> Lyle, do you have a roommate that can help you with your computer? Oh, uh, yeah. I got a weird old guy that lives with me. Ooh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if he's around right now. See if he can help you. Yeah, yeah. See if he can help you. Uh, Harley. Harley. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting prepared. To- okay. Oh, okay. you have Harley living with you these days. <laughs> what am I looking at? There's a bug on my computer. I gotta hold my head kind of near you. There's Holly, it's me, Bob. What's with all the fuzzy business up there? That's what I'm trying to find out. We were trying to go to the doctor. What the fuck is happening? There's a doctor here? The bug has jungle fever. <laughs> Does it burn? Oh, jungle, jungle fever minute. is what he has. Oh, no, I, no, I gotta, I go gotta quiet my roommate real okay. quick. Hold on. You go, you go figure that out. <laughs> Hey, you gotta, you gotta be quiet. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard I of Jungle Fever? I got a podcast going in the other room. What? You got a what? Wait, what? The other room. <laughs> <laughs> you with who? A podcast. Oh, who's on it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Just a bunch of fat losers. And cowards. <laughs> and cowards, yeah. I'll have you know I've been working out. <laughs> oh, what you got going on here? What? <laughs> There's something wrong with my computer. I can't figure out the they screen. Got a bug. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if they can hear me, but they got a bug. Hold yeah. on, go put your headset on. You can't hear them. <laughs> Bring Harley back. He seems like he knows. Bring Harvey or whatever. What? Somebody was asking for help with the computer. Uh, somebody hopefully, asking hopefully help. will be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did, did we get it figured out? I thought nope. Harley was his wife. <laughs> No, 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 no. He was a beautiful man. He's a hell of a man. Was in Vietnam. <laughs> was he in the barrel? Two tours. He Two was the barrel. He was one of the crackers <laughs> in the barrel. He did. Yeah. He, he was, was the barrel. barrel. There we go. They just fit inside him. Oh, that's that there. Which one? That one. Oh, uh, okay. I. D- <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, I'm getting Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> <laughs> what? Emoji. It was a joke. He was so, insinuating Holly was performing fellatio. Mm-hmm. So and ben, I'm going to keep the OJ shirt. 
I hope so. <laughs> so, Ben, now that we're at this point where we have about 45 minutes of a serious interview with Ty and the Wings Brothers on the show, how would you like to proceed? Well, you got the Wings Brothers on the show? <laughs> That's a good get. <laughs> I, I want to talk to the Wing Brothers, but they don't seem very... Uh... Like they want to have a conversation. To be honest what with you, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? We're here to talk about our symptoms. <laughs> okay, talk about your symptoms. That's what I asked it three times. What are the symptoms? If I laugh too hard, I throw up. <laughs> I'm about to throw up. Yeah. Have you ever heard of GERD? <laughs> I know you wouldn't think it, but with this long hair, I rip it out constantly. (laughs) What the? Where are my ears? (laughs) I've I've explained this to my doctor. He said, just give it up. It's so weird. Are normal. <laughs> How normal are you, Ben? Yeah, are you a normal guy? If that, if that is normal, then I've never been better. Roll the clip. <laughs> You're talking to me, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Oh, 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 Right oatmeal. Yeah. Uh, Mac, we need more content, bro. Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, don't. Why is Chad GPT smarter than me? The Ethan, I'm sure, is going to be saying, What the fuck is wrong with you when he hears this? It is Ethan. Um, my tits are huge. And the way sounds like. Even when I was. Uh, like anorexic skinny. I wasn't actually anorexic, but I was like very, very skinny. And I, I still had tits that would move when I'd walk. The skinny, and then the sexy guy on a shirt, and it's a kinky doll. I have Michael Phelps. You have to pretend to like me. Like that's like part of the. I realized I was really autistic because I was uh, I was clearly hyper infatuated with Pokemon in the moment. Just to be clear, j- just so we can kind of recap what's going on right now, you've clarified that the hat you're wearing right now is to prevent you from ripping your own hair out, and you've talked for about an hour right about shitting on the floor and getting Pokemon cards. <laughs> Just, just so we're clear. Yeah, just so we're clear. I just, I just, just so we're clear. I just don't want to look autistic at all, right? Walking okay. in this. <laughs> Dude, look at my fucking head. Where are my ears? Where are they? His eyes are. But I have trichotillomania, so I pull my hair out. And when I'm tired, I, I it, it's a form of physical stress. So I'll, I'll start ripping my hair out. So I have to put a hat on. Why are there two versions of these idiots? Stop burping. My hair looks so fucking retarded. <laughs> Wait, did you change your preview? <laughs> what the heck? Does he have a bug? Those early <laughs> YouTube <laughs> 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 I don't think Ben was expecting a clip show today. Dude, I, dude, I used to, I used to spin the same so hard when I was a kid. <laughs> Great example. Hey, I'm not going to get it. I, I showed you the bite marks on my controller, on my GameCube oh, controller. Yeah. I would go, <laughs> on my GameCube controller when I'd get, when, I don't even, I didn't even have to get mad. I would just get like, <laughs> like way yeah. frustrated. Hey, tell me. There we go. <laughs> Big fuck. I'm so happy you took that uh, mole and looked at it on your stomach. Huh? Not even putting out the mole. Get that thing no, away. Up, up, up. Get that disgusting <laughs> thing away from my face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it might be cancer. I'm not really sure if it's cancer or not. It's a nine or ten as well. I humped a pillow. <laughs> I screamed in my, on the pillow. <laughs> body spray right on my asshole so I made sure I didn't smell. <laughs> I, 
get caught. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> know. I'm touching you, please. What are those? You're not really touching me. You're not really touching me. You haven't touched me yet, dude. I'm waiting. What are those? I don't know, like lace? What little lace? Please don't tell me he has a lace. That would be so f there's so many of them. Do I have lice? Do I have lice? Please don't. You don't can you give us a profile? Vincent Ben Go! <laughs> I also, sometimes when I get really stressed, I get hot <laughs> on my arms. I've never cut anyone's hair before. You might see some eczema on there. It's, it's eczema. Is that about the <laughs> right going to shut that window my for the future? No. Itch. My balls itch. Uh, I keep doing dripping ass. I think it was the coconut water. Um, I was thinking about this earlier today. There's a non-zero chance of the amount of time that we're doing the podcast. Over time, there's, there's a non-zero chance that I'm going to have some sort of digestive issue and, and shit my pants. Um, uh, anyway, I went, I was hanging out with um, Eric and Brian and Haley, and uh, it was like pet You haven't been drinking coffee this whole week. I, dirt, coffee, big no-no. How did I do? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's our view of, like, look at how fucking awesome we are. Look at the, I have no ears on my head. But they, the thing with the mushy, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen out. this version yet. It goes on for so I long. Know. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking dialed right now. That's what my doctor told me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. I thought he was so normal. <laughs> That felt like much longer than four and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh... This might be my favorite episode we've done so far. It's not even <laughs> over yet. <laughs> Man, make it funny. Huh? Make it funny. Do something. <clears throat> Do something weird. Oh, um, I lost my wallet. Yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a story you genuinely wanted to tell. Yeah, so I, I'm excited to see what, what Buck and Wild... Uh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead and talk. He's been waiting all day to say this, by the way. Okay, so. yeah, go ahead, yeah. Sure. So I lost my wallet. Let you know? man talk. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, oh, geez. Um, my wallet. I dropped my I'm wallet. I'm sorry. Hold on. You got to fix the wallet. Yeah, we, uh, we won't interrupt you anymore. We swear. <laughs> Got it. I don't believe that. A, a okay with Are me. No worries. Are you talking word. or am I talking right now? <laughs> No, no, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Who's on first? <laughs> what? Uh? Oh? Don't even, don't stress. Don't I'm stress. sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah no, 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 don't worry about it, don't worry about it. So I dropped my my wallet in a Hold sandwich. Hold on, let me, let me bring Harley in here. He'd really like to hear oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you probably, you probably would. Get him in there. Get him in there, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, He's on his, yep. You can, okay. Oh, he can't we go. it. But fine. that's a good point. You know, he's really. <laughs> He'll get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, tiny uh, rage lips. Yeah, for sure. So I dropped my uh, I dropped my wallet in a Sam's Club parking lot. That's as far as it's Um, and someone stole it mm. off the ground. I know. Was someone it me? Stole it off Was it him? It you did find a wallet recently. Yeah, what'd you, Sam's Club parking lot. Yeah, what did you end up doing with that? I think I threw it away. Okay. Oh, good. Sure. Thank God. Oh. You don't want to live in these days. Thank God. No, I saw I saw, I saw, saw two charges for a USPS kiosk and one for a BP gas station, but my social security card was in my wallet. Oh, shit. Oh, Why? no. Yeah, why was your social security card in your wallet? Why? What are you dumb? Is he gonna I tell people trying, who I was trying to change That's my ID point. to Ohio. My I mean, social security card. number is zero 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 one hundred and five. You should hear you should hear his address. <laughs> Would you like to know my address? Yeah, come here, tell me. Yeah, go for it. One one one. <laughs> What? Look at Lane. <laughs> he fucking got you. Holy shit, you look so stupid. I thought you were normal, man. normal Ben. Hey, you, you got wrong. so many diseases. Do you have a Zachary disease? I can see Me? perfectly. 
No, the other one. Do you have a Zachary C? I can see perfectly, and I can smell good. Is Zachary that disease? Do you have it? <laughs> he's, asking, he's, he's, ask, he's asking do you have a Zachary disease. No, I know what he's asking. I'm, I, I, I'm saying no. I have. I can see well. It's, I where, smell good. it's, it's where your face looks exactly like your butt. <laughs> <laughs> You got me good. <laughs> My face doesn't look like a butt, though, does it? Not even this likely. Why we all spoke at the same time? <laughs> Not in this lighting. You're good. Yeah, I know you look good. I think we'll have going diarrhea. On with your <laughs> start over completely. Well, I think I'm going to have diarrhea, actually. <laughs> okay, never mind. What can we do to speed that up? <laughs> what, are you going to collect it? Yeah. 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 There's still stamp collectors. What? Mm-hmm. Stool I guess stamp collectors? collectors? We collect stool stamps. A stamp club? Mm-hmm. Stool uh, stamps and Sam's Club. They're cheaper there. We're, <laughs> that's true. You got a nice little wave going on right now. I kind of like it's. I have got a, a No, you don't have any hair, buddy. Oh, oh this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew what was going on with my camera. Nobody's told me yeah, about speaking it. Of a nice there's, wave. A bug. there's a bug there for sure. Yeah. Whoa. I wonder if you jump if you keep going up. Let's find out. <laughs> don't don't find rupture out. a disc. Yeah, yeah, don't don't break your fucking pelvis. Is he sinking? <laughs> Ow, mate. Ow. Did you try jumping? <laughs> what the hell? I'd kill for another angle of what's happening right now. <laughs> I'd kill for another we angle. Can maybe, hold on, let's see if we can figure this out. We'll reset. What's, what's happening here, here Buck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Turn the other way. way. Are you over here? Yeah, yeah, like right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I can see me. <laughs> it's going up. What, what the hell? <laughs> Are you, Are you seeing, seeing this? this? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm also sinking. <laughs> I mean, neither of you have tried jumping. <laughs> but look at the floor of lava bar. Jump. <laughs> How much do you pay for rent with a lava? Ooh, voice crack. How much do you pay for rent with a lava floor? Well, we all live together, so. It's rent control. 43 <laughs> beans. <laughs> What's you guys? What's you guys thermostat at? It's true. It's true. It only cost us eleven raspberries. Wax. <laughs> Not back then. Different berry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you couldn't have that back then. <laughs> uh, what is your thermostat at right now? Hundred. <laughs> The floor is lava. Those beans are baked. <laughs> that's too cold for lava. That's true. That's true. There's that a little chili in here. Are you a geologist, little boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Aren't you little? <laughs> that's, what kind of toys do you got back there? Yeah, what's that? Actually, that's a good question. What kind of toys do you got back there? So, yeah, uh, I'll I'm buy a, fan a of Transformers. New one if you take your so, shirt off. All those are Transformers. <laughs> like, Sweet. as you can see with the logo. Right, yeah, yeah. Autobots. No, fuck that. All right. Like, this <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> No, I can't believe you would pick. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not 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 them all. <laughs> I'm able to turn this enough. There's oh, more. Oh, they are not lunch. Are those- oh shit. <laughs> there we go. Are those oh, wait. Oh, holy shit! Who are yeah. they? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, you, got got me. you got some. You got some little men in your room. Can I they do, do any they tricks? They watch me sleep every night. What is Homer? What is Homer saying? Ah, uh, TV. 
It respects me. It laughs with me, not at me. Is there something he said? Nope. Or maybe. <laughs> I haven't seen the show enough. <laughs> it's a bootleg Homer Simpson quote. <laughs> like, what hasn't he said, though? Like, I'm a good father. There- <laughs> Has he said the N-word yet? <laughs> there was a deleted episode. No. What's happening? Wait, what's happening? But oh no! Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> what's going on here? These little girls keep telling me that I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> now, what's going on with that screen down there? I don't know. Some idiot down there can't figure out his camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to let that bit ride out. This is my friend Wild. Hello, (laughs) Internet. I think I know you guys from the Wings Brothers. They called you the (laughs) N-Word. Did they? Yeah. I'll have you know I'm a proud white man. (laughs) Do you have white pride? That's a great question. Do you have white pride? Oh, I'd say we're proud. You're a proud boy? Sure. sure. We're allies. Do you guys, uh, Buck and Wild, or yeah, Buck and Wild, do you guys think there's a difference between uh, white pride and, and whites having pride? Oh, no. What? He said, do you like raising canes? <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Never been. <laughs> <laughs> Buck and Wild. You guys ever been to Checkers? <laughs> I like rallies. Oh, got it. No, Sorry no, about that. No, I got a question for Buck. That's my dream! <laughs> <laughs> That's real place. I hope this doesn't get your podcast pulled off the internet. <laughs> well, the well, the yellow fella in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call it. I'm covering it. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Isn't that the guy in all the Spike Lee movies? <laughs> If you want to request a bleep tie, we'll give it to you. <laughs> no. I do have a question for Buck and Wild. Go for it. Like, you're two men in their older years. <laughs> yeah, do you have any, like, tattoos? Or, like, we have stuff tattoos? like that? Oh, sure. <laughs> What's a tattoo? Well, it's something. So it's something like the this. Switch. Oh, don't show oh, the gun! You got it colored in. Oh my! Yep. I'm starting That's to feel like this hell. was a lead up so you could show yours oh, off. Wait, I have, I have one, one of those. I, I didn't show totally you was. Off. I have one of those. Oh, then that's okay. See, there no, we thank go. you. Pop it. <laughs> I have a tattoo on my lower back uh, that in Japanese means "Don't tread on me." <laughs> Japanese don't tread on me might go hard. That's sick. That's I get lost in translation. Does it have the snake? Is the snake there? Does it have a snake on it? Oh, sure, yeah. Going right up the middle. <laughs> right down the crack. Yep. It actually looks like a license plate. <laughs> um, I did have a few questions, actually. Um... Because I was a fan. I got. I got to go. I'm on a podcast oh, in the other room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got to go. He's on a podcast in the sure, other sure, room. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, no, that makes <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Good, to, good to see him. Always good to see him. Um, did uh, did when did you guys said you guys are brothers, but you're not related, correct? We've been brothers for twenty years. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So my my How question my question was you guys are brothers <laughs> you guys are brothers but not related right we're brothers by blood not cum yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> do you like bro- so you blood brothers mm-hmm. okay we got not okay. come brothers not cum brothers blood brothers no uh, yes so before you guys knew each other. <laughs> What was that noise? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I had to clear my throat. <laughs> Did you guys go to the same school? Oh, sure. Cool. That's all I wanted to know. Yep. <laughs> we went to the same Catholic school that Robert Durst went to. Who? The guy from Limp Biscuit? No, that's Fred. <laughs> Fred from Scooby Doo. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, okay. Um, what Robbie Robbie Durst was yes. that was the um. What, he doesn't Maryland, like to right? be called that. He doesn't. Oh, he didn't like Robbie. No. You learned that quick, huh? What? <laughs> you learned that quick, huh? Certainly, yeah. Huh? Ty, have you gained any more insight as to what this is about? No. <laughs> okay, just checking. Well, I, I, I kind of want to know the backstory of the Wings Brothers, bef- like before they met, because I figure at that point that they met, this, you know, I met him the, the day I was born. <laughs> And I met him 40 years after that. <laughs> and then when did you become Blood Brothers? 20 years ago. Yeah, we said this already. Yeah. You, <laughs> you gotta keep up listen. I guess, yeah, I guess I don't know what I'm doing. You gotta so find the- those ears of yours so you can try to pay attention to this story. <laughs> Bro. Wait, I can do like, can I do one of these? You can kind of see him now. Is that the great Cornholio? <laughs> Never watched the show, but I still get that reference. Isn't uh, I'm well, surprised you don't have a fat head of Beavis and Butthead in the background <laughs> of your room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that what one of them says? <laughs> Dead um, on. <laughs> one of these fairies could look it up. <laughs> How would I spell it? Yeah. <laughs> Why wow, would you try that song? It goes, oh, oh that's okay. I, that's, a, that's that's Cashmere. Werewolves of London. Cashmere. No, it's Werewolves, of London. werewolves of London. It's that's what it is. See, I knew. Oh, I thought it was. You Cashmere. can only get that sort of connection with brothers. <laughs> Blood brothers, specifically, not cum brothers. Not cum yes, brothers. Sir. Not cum brothers. Okay, and if you said so you're saying the day you guys met is when you became Blood Brothers. Yes, but forty. So f- I'm trying to understand. So you, okay? So you broke him. There's smoke coming out of the ears. <laughs> your brain's trying to work. So well, where's smoke be- coming oh. from? Yeah. All right, then I can help you out. So one of them was born like 60 years ago, and the other met them then, but then they left for and reemerged 40 years later, and then. Then they became brothers at that point, and since then they've been brothers for twenty years. Who we talking about? Movies with that type of creativity. What the hell? Get this man to New York. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so, okay. I heard you got some tunnels. <laughs> that's in Gotham. Just a few. That's, in, that's in Gotham City. Uh. So okay. Did Got you know it. Joseph Gordon Levitt's first name in that Ain't movie that is Robin? Mm. Robin Durst. Yeah, Robin Durst. He killed his wife. Why? Like for fun? Yeah. Yeah, mm. it's for sport. He was in the wife killing sport. Well, at least they had a good time. Oh yeah. Well it's a little chilly in our apartment. It's a hundred degrees. I gotta keep a blanket <laughs> on me. <laughs> You guys, what kind of pillows do you guys sleep on? You are filled to the brim <laughs> with good questions. I, you assume I'm they always, sleep. I'm really glad that you're getting to the origins of the Wings Brothers. <laughs> I'm working backwards. The, I'm working the right backwards. Questions. Uh, we've slept on a pillow okay. every night. They've been friends twenty years. They sleep on memory foam pillows. <laughs> Who are you? The dots are being connected. <laughs> no. Okay. But you I got, got an I'm answer, trying, though. I'm memory foam. A, memory foam. I'm getting. I'm, no, I'm trying to get on as a much big water balloon. <laughs> <laughs> like from fucking slow mo guys. <laughs> so, okay. Yep. That, so, we were the original slow mo guys. <laughs> No, I, uh, yeah. Which one's slow and which one's Mo? <laughs> I met Mo. He makes a mean burrito. God damn, he uh, does. Eh, debatable. What the oh, fuck do you know about no, it? No, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got a hot shot in here. <laughs> what are it's, r- it's right down the street. It's eh, it's all right. Just dox yourself, young man. 
<laughs> yeah, give us the full address. Buck can tell you his. <laughs> Fucking wild, fucking wild. Do y'all ever fun? Do y'all ever play? Do y'all ever play any fun pranks on each other? Maybe in your younger years. What's a prank? All right, <laughs> All right. you're gonna have to really break down the concept of pranks, and then we'll Fuck get back it, What to kind you. of pillows do you sleep on? Oh, yeah. Sure, good question. <laughs> oh, you should ask that one. The other guy should ask that. I sleep so, on a yeah. big water balloon. So they yeah. don't know. Yeah, they don't know. If pranks he sleeps are, on a big water balloon, and I have some easy Jello that I uh, make every night that I sleep on. But you, but you use memory foam pillows as the like, sure. pillow. Okay. naturally. Sure. Absolutely. So we're learning. We're learning more. They don't know what pranks are, which so that kind of like cuts out that you know portion of the conversation. Do you guys have home, home videos of when you're kids? What's a what is a prank like? We. It's I mean, you go we the hood famously, and you, 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 you we go the famously hood and you unplug Terry Shivo. Is that a, is that a <laughs> prank? <laughs> was that was that um? <laughs> did they ask you? Huh? No, nah, I think it defeats the purpose of a prank. It's more yeah. like they begged them. All right, you man. don't ask for permission for for real pranksters. Did, they, did you get them on the waiver on the? No, that was a. It, you, you don't understand Terry Shivo. I think. Upon death, do you ha- do you do you do you, I know does Terry Cruz. matter? Oh, you met Terry Crews. Where was this? No, like I know they're a person. Like they oh, exist. He's doing gender neutral. I, that too, I appreciate actually. that. I know that too. See? Yeah. You guys you guys know about Terry Crews? Oh, Buck fell asleep. <laughs> oh, he's up. <laughs> If he had his memory foam, he'd de- definitely have slept longer. If Sleepy sure. Buck or Bug Wild <laughs> is your comfort character, leave a comment in the description. <laughs> leave a comment in the description. Buck, you have to wake up. You're on a podcast. <laughs> Who's that? Buck, you're going to be late for school. You're doctor. Hello, doctor. Welcome kind of, to my okay, office, What kind of pillow do you sleep on? Buck, you look like you're about to be visited by three ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect amount of room for three ghosts, for sure. Ooh. You really look like a ghost, I'm going to be honest. I can't believe you're still alive. <laughs> uh, Who are you referencing? <laughs> what are you talking about? The hell? Something's wrong with my yeah, camera. <laughs> Uh, you guys, you guys ever play like games growing up, like uh, Pong? Ooh. Ooh, oh, that, we're, losing, we're losing Wild. Are you good, Wild? No. Huh? Huh? Uh, Wild. I since the last time, <laughs> since the last time I uh, chatted with you, uh, you actually it seems that there is less. Uh, <laughs> tape on your cheeks. Can you believe um, it? We're having so much less technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> They've been here before. Things are going so smoothly. <laughs> now, this is the second time. Ty doesn't know this. This is the second time we've encountered the Wings Brothers, both on the uh, uh, onset of a doctor's visit. Mm. You guys got to get your health in check. Otherwise, you're going to keep coming on here. We have to get our health in check. <laughs> <laughs> There's a four minute video of me falling apart. <laughs> I have to have diarrhea, dude. I actually genuinely have to have diarrhea. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Holy shit. Oh, think about the views, Benjamin, if you shit yourself right now. <laughs> shit. I mean, you, uh, think of it this way. The audience will never know if you don't Luke, tell them. You have to shit yourself. <laughs> It's, it There's not enough bad women word. in this podcast. <laughs> yeah, do you happen to have a girlfriend? <laughs> Wait, I actually kind of... What do you mean, kind of? <laughs> oh, no. Is she chained up somewhere? Is that what... <laughs> oh, no, no. No, no, no. Sorry, I was... I was thinking of it. Can I see this? What are you talking yeah, about? The fuck is that You're Roku supposed to be on city? my side. Is that the yeah. Robux? Oh, yeah. our grandsons play that. You have grand. You have one family. Of are, one of you are twenty. Yeah. We have, oh, but we have, Wild's my brother. 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> now, now we understand. That. Yeah, we have grandchildren, so they have kind of a white stripes type uh, relationship. If I'm being honest with you, the only stripe I care about is the blue one. Ah, uh, Adidas. Adidas. <laughs> I was talking about Blue Lives Matter, but sure. <laughs> oh no, this is all about lines. This episode's all about lines. Wild, Wild, I got a question for you, Wild. Wow. Well, I have a question for you, Wild. Oh, you seem sure. like Go a ahead. man who has a lot of connections. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. So, like, You're I'm anxious to, to know. Sweeten me up. I mean, I might be. Like, oh, if you're wow. will, if you're willing, but is Tyler uh, Hosbino the new Riz King? <laughs> no, new Riz but, King, dude. Who did are he you, live, re, re, who did he are you aware of a Riz certain to be Riz King? Like, are you aware of a certain clown by the name of Hamstring? I'm gonna let you keep going with this one. <laughs> so, see, like, I Let's knew this clown. That I'm not. <laughs> like, there was a movie long, long ago called Hamstring, and yeah. see. There was a guy who was in love with a girl, and then that guy was diagnosed after being hit by a cannonball that he was going to die. Mm-hmm. So that the two were planning to get married because, see, he got poisoned just like that. What yep. was that supposed to be? Oh, how did you get the a hamstring. picture of me? <laughs> <laughs> That's the hamstring. That's what he's talking about. See, and you're the at the guy, doctors, remember? The oh. guy. Like he got shot. He's in the hospital, but his girl went off to enjoy a, a, a circus and she got sprayed in the face by this clown named Hamstring and he killed that woman. But now the man is after revenge. Yep, that's it. That That's Hamstring. <laughs> this is a real story? This is a real story. What the fuck? It's a real story. We have it recorded this, and everything. I thought this was something you made up for a Let's Play. No, no, that's crazy. No. Describe to me what a Let's Play is. Yeah, that's a great question. Huh? 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 Uh-huh. Don't like it when I do it to you? What are we playing? Do oh, we want to play something? I got Putt Party. You guys want to play Putt Party on Discord? What the hell is a fan Putt of Party? <laughs> <laughs> um, you like I assume you guys are going to be here for a minute, right? I got to move my car. Oh, okay. Bro, are you I leaving me alone with with? I got. I'll be quick. I'll be like literally five minutes. Bro, you're my right, man. You have me. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Good point. I, I, Temporary right, co-host right, Tyler right. Hosbino. I'm gonna move my car so my HOA doesn't find me three hundred dollars. Hey, Tyler, what do you think about McDonald's? Who's that? Oh, that's a handsome Ooh. little lady. Oh. I actually, I have to use the bathroom myself, so I'm gonna let Harley <laughs> take over. Oh, oh. Oh, that's that's cool, your, right? Is that your girlfriend? <sighs> yeah, well, yeah, she she looks moving up in the world. She, yeah, she looks fairly similar to that. She kind of looks like this too. Who Harley, are you? how are you doing? Oh, hello, Who Harley. Are you? Oh, Harley's here. Hey, Harley. Hey, hey, hey. Why do I look like this? There's something what? wrong with your camera. <laughs> you flick it. Flick it. Like just punch it. Give yeah, it a good give it, smack. Give it a good. Give it a good. Yeah, give it hit a good. I don't like think it's ever, working. You ever watch wrestling? Just give Holly, it a old Holly one too. Holly once <laughs> knocked out. He knocked out a woman once. Oh, oh, oh but she no. was asking for it. Oh God! What happened? <laughs> Tell me the story. Well, I went to this council meeting. All right, and there were a bunch of cowards there. <laughs> Uh, okay. I was just trying to speak Mass my mind. And everything. Yep, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I'm not just surprised. Really, just uh, really, just a lot of fat, ugly women there. Oh, oh, oh! It's a similar situation. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, that's really every school board meeting all wrapped up in one. Just oh, a bunch hello. of fat, ugly. Oh. Uh, were they, I just were did they to that big? bathroom what Ben should do to this podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they were about that big. Maybe a little bigger even. Did you hear him? Mm. Yeah, he said... Uh, he said. I said I just did to that bathroom what Ben should do to that podcast. Poop yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how... Is that how podcasts work? 
I, I could Did poop you? myself. I could poop. I was thinking of, I genuinely had the thought of like, it, would it be good What's content if I shat myself Ollie on air? Oddly can't figure it out. It Look, have, I think it'd have to be like paid for content. Yeah. Look, did you forget to take your pants down on the toilet on again? <laughs> <laughs> did you forget to take your pants down for the toilet again? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, why don't why don't you go help him and I'll I'll take over. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. I, oh, yeah, as long as everybody's you know got a station. Good. Good. Oh, hey, Just, Wild. How are you doing? What's going no, on? That's me. Oh, wait. Yes. <laughs> no, Maybe, you, can't, I, you can't trick me this time, Buck. <laughs> you tricked me one too many times. <laughs> it is freezing over here. What's the thermostat at? A hundred. <laughs> Great. Can you, can you believe that? A hundred more in here is lava. Is it 100 Celsius or Fahrenheit or, or Kelvin? Your eyes are Ooh. so small. Is it Calvin and Klein? You wearing Calvin Klein? <laughs> oh. No. Hey, somebody knocked a plant over <laughs> in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> dirt everywhere. When did that happen? <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Hold on, Wild. I gotta go talk to Buck. Okay. <laughs> wait, but the wait, you. <laughs> oh wait, that's me. Hey, Buck. Holly. Somebody knocked the plant over by your computer. <laughs> what the? Hell? Did you hear about this? Somebody whoa, 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 knocked. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody knocked the plant over, over in the other room. Made a real mess. <laughs> in the I trust that this has been very productive since I left. Uh, oh, of sure. course. What did you guys talk the, about? Give me a recap. It's 100 it's, degrees here. Jesus it's fucking crazy. Christ. <laughs> it's, apparently it's 100 degrees. They don't tell us if it's Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin, but it's one of the three for sure. If it's Celsius, we'd be dead, you dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is lava, though. Yes. The floor, the floor is lava. Buck is now wild. Wild is now Buck. How does that work? Well, the trans? What do you guys know about Kanye West? Oh, we met him in the tunnels. <laughs> well, it was his idea. Right. Yeah. Keep going. It was, it was his idea. <laughs> he put on his little new Kanye mask that made him sound like he was talking through a cup. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. What was the and then he put the Jews in the tunnel. Mm-hmm. And oh, then... then broke Batman's back. He blew his Batman's back out. Mm-hmm. Blue Batman, bad. Blue, blue Batman back. Batman's not blue. He's black. Like theoretically <laughs> or like figuratively. <laughs> you take over. Careful. It's freezing. <laughs> or physically. What month is it there? What is Harley's relationship in this whole dynamic? Who's Harley? <laughs> I'm Buck. <laughs> You can see it's got my name on the screen. <laughs> so then who's who's Harley? Oh, hey, Harley. Oh, Harley's the one with the wheelchair. He's got oh. a motor on. <laughs> looks very uh, agile right now, though. Which is crazy. Hey, he's got wheels on him. Well, he doesn't use it to get around. He can walk just fine, but he can go way faster with the wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, right. right. I which, which, yeah, which is what happens when you only work out arms. What's happening over there? Are they are they okay? Yeah, they're doing all right. We're doing fine over here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're great. I don't think there's a single frame crazy. where I've been able to see. Uh, uh, what if I, I don't what know if I would which one be over here? What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh. Well. Yeah, I mean, you guys are fine. Uh oh, is this any better? <laughs> what is it? It's working great. How's I think that? something's freezing up. It's perfect. Is it? Is this it? Is that two and a half? Guys and I've been right. hearing about. Oh. Ben, did you have any like other other serious things that happened to you this week that you want to go over? Um. I lost my wallet. Do you guys hear about that? He lost yeah. his wallet. 
Hey, how he come lost you guys his wallet. Sideways now? Yeah. I found a wallet the other day. He found a wallet. How much what? money was in it? Do you know? Yeah, Do you weigh 243 pounds? I weigh more. No, you're good. Weight. Different guy. He says he weighs 243 pounds. <laughs> That was on the ID. Is he hiding it? I remember because we both did. We said, what a fat piece of shit. <laughs> was that those Jake, last three numbers? In the, like, seven or eight digit Robitussin. number? <laughs> yeah, there were, so, yeah, there were a few. There was, there was a weird a, card. Yeah, there was a, there was a what? Holly eight, sounding nine digit, more, more like number Joe than two with 16 digits. What, what, what's the number? Read it out loud. I, I don't have it. It's, it's, it was stolen. It, would you get... It was stolen. You don't remember I, your social security number because no. the card was stolen? Oh, so what are you going to do? Was like, zero, you should have written it down. Zero, zero, uh, I think it was zero, zero, zero. No. Zero, zero. Don't do zero, his joke. 69. One, zero, five. No, <laughs> oh, that's mine. I think he had his. I think he had his address on there. But I don't. I can't quite remember what his address was. What was your address on it? I have a picture. I have a picture, actually. Hold on. Oh, please. please show us a picture of that. Yeah, hold on. I got you. I got a picture. It's from. It's. I got. A, I took it on January. Right, if you want to show us your uh, social security number live, you feel feel free. Yeah, Mine's great. locked in a box. My ID. Like, no, that's coming through so clear. <laughs> it's my ID. Nineteen ninety-six. That's my year. What's your year? That a your time. <laughs> what were you arrested for in Connecticut? Um. Oh, damn, you're older than me. By yeah, a few months. So, you ever heard of procuring? <laughs> like a drug, drug deal? <laughs> yeah, it's just a drug, simple drug deal. Yeah. I had a, I had a, you I had take one, over. I had a, uh, I had a, I had a, uh, uh, what are they called? A, uh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. What, uh, I had a guidance counselor that, uh, that, that sold <laughs> weed. No, sold heroin. How did you know? How did you sold find meth? out? He got arrested. He got arrested. He got arrested for selling. Did he touch you? No, he gave me a free passes, but he wasn't even. <laughs> hey, wild. Wild. Uh. Hey, wake up, Wild. You're on a podcast. What the hell? Are you trying to sell me brain fuel or whatever the fuck he sells? We do. Oh, we forgot to bring that up. We do sell stuff now, Ben. Remember? We sell brain fuel? No, no, no. Aww. Your code. Hey, Harley, they're trying to sell think, us something. Is what? this the time? Okay, you want to. You want, do you think well, what we else can, are you going to do? You, it? Think we can, you think we can market, market I don't know. They so, said. soaps and candles to old men? They don't use either of those things? Yeah, real old men. The tree is like fun. where the shark tank. Okay, so it isn't my item. It isn't my item. I'm. You're is, not starting it, off well. It's <laughs> for sale. Uh, you got. <laughs> you guys, you guys ever? This use is not soap? being set up well at all. You guys ever use soap? What's soap? Yes. Well. Uh -huh. You guys ever you smell? You guys ever use candles? Oh, I sure. just let the shampoo wash <laughs> all the way down. <laughs> That's what they don't tell you is it falls right out of your hair until you took us. Until you took us? Yep, right through yeah. it. My body is a temple, and I use Dove. <laughs> I use I use. <laughs> I used uh, some formula that when I put it on my my asshole, it, it actually tingles for like plug hours. The, plug the actual oh. so plug the shit we have oh. a real plo oh, promo no, no, code I, for. I want to hear about his ass tingling. Don't plug the shit that makes your ass <laughs> hair fall out. You have a promo code to make money yes. off a real soap shop, and yes. you're choosing to talk about your ass hair is falling out. He has trigonometry, which means he pulls all his I pull butt my hair out. Yeah, my butt, I pull Wild, my butt are you still teaching kids to swim? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> You're right. Who's this little boy? Um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh, the other day I pulled out, I, I I pulled the hair out of my armpit and it was like so much. Add to the video. Yeah, put it in the video. <laughs> hold, on. hold on, we gotta restart. Right <laughs> from the top. <laughs> it was actually it was like it was a a uh, it was it was concerning my armpit hair in my hand.
after I pulled it what out. What is a concerning amount of armpit hair? Like, what are you like, talking I, about? I At least like, like three ounces. 14, 14, 15 hairs in like one stroke because my armpit <laughs> itched. I didn't want to itch it, so I just pulled the hair out. He's holding because something. I you if you there's any world is that a bear? <laughs> the beaver? It's getting. I feel like it's getting way worse uh, later in this episode than it than it was getting, in the very it beginning. Getting, it is getting worse, a hundred percent. I think Wild's like showing his pet. Like here's mine. Is that it's a, a little jaguar? I think there's something wrong oh, with Wild's camera. Oh, it is Wild's a jaguar. Camera. What the fuck? Wild, what's wrong with your camera? What the hell? I never even noticed this. And then I turn it around, and it's a USB. Holy You're shit! Hold on. Me. Let me let me see this fucking jaguar this kid's got going on. Are you lying? Okay, I'm uh, stuck. <laughs> there we go. See? No, is that oh, an shit. Autobot or a Decepticon? Oh, it's a Decepticon. Uh, don't ask stupid it's fucking Decepticon. questions. <laughs> exactly. It's a fucking, of course, it's a Decepticon, dude. I kind of feel like I missed the intro to the conversation as to why the USB stick dog guy came out, but it's I'm all pet. about it. It's his pet. Yeah. We were showing USB. off pets. Yeah. When I when I, when I was a Jaguar a, makes when I when I was <laughs> when I was younger, I put on my friend's I put on my friend's Facebook wall. I said uh, USB stands for you suck balls, and then his mom messaged me and said, "Please delete that." <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Anyways, we sell soap now. Uh, I also said I, I want to sh- fuck him. Uh, I I did get in trouble at school for saying that the FBI stand f- stood for Federal Bitches Incorporated. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Who, who, Why would who? it be a federal business that's incorporated? The federal bitch bitches incorporated. Know, you can't call women that anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why illegal. I got in trouble. I was being a bad boy. Ooh, naughty boy. <laughs> he looks like he would be a naughty boy too. To be honest. What is this? Why? How can I, I get involved in whatever frozen. this is? <laughs> oh, well, let me yeah, see wild screen is wild. frozen. <laughs> go, check, go check on him. Can you go check on him? <laughs> Wild's dead. <laughs> he looks so serious, too. Shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's on. That's what's hey, wait, we'll, wild, we'll just hope that uploads. out of the tab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'd probably end up being fine no matter what, but... Has that yeah. ever ruined us, Ben? No, not yet. Okay. Well, today, probably. <laughs> so is, are they coming back? Or are you just hanging out for a while or what? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you, buddy. I know you're you got to going. You're the only buck we care about. I am a young buck. <laughs> Your hair is phenomenal, buck. Let me tell you what. Horse and mane. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. and tail. It's all shampoo. It, it looks oh. perfectly fine on people. It, it looks like you otherwise. It looks like the shit that they make the 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 string on the violin thing. I'm a horse. Nay, nice. Zach here is probably pony if I had to guess. <laughs> Just one of us has got to be a donkey, dude. You mean a donkey? What's the best? What's the best Weisler? It's you said it. <laughs> okay, just making sure that was the one. I thought that was the one, but I, I had to just make sure. Um, oh, oh, I, I meant to ask. Um, I guess I was I was kind of going to ask uh, Wild, but um, Wild, he's got a question for you. <sighs> but do you also teach kids how to swim? I've never seen a child in my life. <laughs> I don't believe that. Didn't you meet the other one when you were like one? <laughs> My ears are burning. <laughs> You're gonna have to yell. Hey! What? <laughs> Wait, what was my question for him? I don't remember. Don't ask us, you idiot. <laughs> Wild, how many kids do you teach how to swim? How many kids do you teach how to swim? Oh, let's see. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I do run. I do run a quest on on how I. I have a lot of teenagers trying to learn how to get wet. (laughs) How long has that been going on? (laughs) Leave it at that. 
<laughs> we're done. We're fucked. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, uh, they're, they're gonna shut us down. They don't want us to know. Hey, uh, hey, hey Buck, you want to outro the show? What? <laughs> you want to? You want to outro Ladies the show? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Regurgitated Podcast. <laughs> I am your host, Mr. Buckwing, and I am Wildwing, and together we're the Wings Brothers. Buckle That's up, it's another right. seven hours. Yes, dude, absolutely. We I'm do gonna... have more after this, well. Wow. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, Zach, you want to say that? I already said it. Rooster Teeth Greta is a, we'll timestamp it in the description if you want to, if that's what you're here for. <laughs> He cut you but off before you even the end of the main show. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, thanks yeah. for having me. Yes, <laughs> thank you for being here. Oh Ty. yeah, time. I, I I don't know why this whole thing was like it made sense to me, and I knew I knew. Well, I didn't know Buck and Wild would come, but somehow it threw off my whole fucking thing. Anyways, well, have please, a good night. We're pleased to do that. Yes, <laughs> I love you. Goodbye. Oh, what do right. I click? Do I click delete recording delete? Yeah, the, 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 the delete recording button normally does it. <laughs> Farewell, ladies. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Jesus How do you Christ. feel? Was that Ethan? Shh. <laughs> we can't do Dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, 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 good. I feel excellent. Good, good, good. <laughs> We're going to re-outro the show now. <laughs> no, we already did an outro in the Isaiah bit. Are we going to re-outro the, this part of the show? Sure. Um, uh, again, I, I already said it, but again, in the next part, we're going to talk about Rooster Teeth with the great Isaiah. So st- we'll timestamp it in the description or something if that's why you came here. So you can skip to that. And that's what you'll see next if you've watched it up to this point. Now. And if you have watched it up to this point, my yeah. sincerest apologies. What the? No, fuck? I think this is great. This might be my favorite recording we've ever done, despite <laughs> it falling apart a little bit at the very end. Um, ben selling soaps now. Um, I'll figure out something else. I'll figure out something else to sell. Okay. Are you, are you having are you having trouble after are you tr- having trouble thinking after that whole fiasco? Yeah, I'm no, sure I mean it, it completely interrupts your flow, and I, <laughs> I couldn't be happier for it. But I can't have a normal conversation. I need to like go take a walk or something. <laughs> yeah, after I'm gonna, that, yeah, I'm probably gonna down a fifth. Yeah, good luck editing this. Um, <laughs> Ty, do you have anything you want to plug? Anything at all, or just hanging out, having a good time? And I wish I had some cookie dough. Me too, Ty. Me fucking too. Oh, actually, so one of the side benefits of the job I left, like I got this like a year ago, but I got free coupons for like cook to get cookie dough from stores. Like I had a whole booklet of them. How is the benefit of your like, job? Four left. How how much? Wait, are they still eligible? They are eligible till March, um, thirty first. <laughs> You better, get, you better buy a lot of fucking cookie dough, dude. You have like two weeks to buy all the cookie dough, four things of cookie dough. Well, it's only like, yeah, play. I'll be able to do it. I better be. <laughs> do they limit you on how many you can buy in one transaction? Yeah, like you can only do one at a time. Okay. You're gonna go four different days to buy to buy all this cookie Basically. dough. Basically. Or I give it to like three different people. Ooh. Squad, squatty, and cookie dough together. Benefits of being friends with Ty. Free cookie dough. There I, you go. I did do that. Is, with we made a trip out of it one day, and it is worked you, mostly. Is, is your plan to eat it raw or to cook it? Oh, raw, all the time. Hell yeah! Are these like the tubes? Well, it's for uh, technically it's like the pine. It's Ben and Jerry's, so it's for the pine. Oh, pie cream. But you don't have to get cookie dough. But like, cookie dough there's ice the cream. option to get. Well, no, it can be any type of ice cream, but there is. But the it is ice cookie cream. Dough. <laughs> yeah, but there is the, like, the the bags of cookie dough, so you can also do that as well. Okay, so when I asked you, do you eat it raw or cooked? You didn't think for a second that I was asking about literal cookie dough. You thought I was asking you, do do you cook your ice cream? <laughs> oh no, I thought in either way. Okay. <laughs> You're such a fucking dick, dude.
Me? You, it's just how you ask questions. It's just so stupid. I learned too much from Buck and Wild. I guess so. Yeah, the, I'm, to, I'm totally thrown off. The, here's Wait, the thing. You don't eat here's the thing with ice cream. Monsters. I, I used to I used to microwave my ice cream for like ten seconds before I'd eat Same. it because it's soft serve. Um, here's the thing with fucking Buck and Wild, is mm-hmm. that they get in here, and then every <laughs> bit of idea of what I could talk about is thrown out the door, and immediately every time ask any question that I think could lead to a funny bit, they go, nah. <laughs> that's it. where it ends. That's all it is. They go, huh? <laughs> that, oh, that's all it is. Tell, tell me I'm not wrong, though. That, that, was, that, was, that was pretty good. No, that was good. Well, yeah. rate, rate this episode, Ben. Um, How do you feel? I think it might, yeah, it might be the best. I mean, I we'll the, we'll the see Sean, how we feel the, after the fact, but the I love Sean Penis was pretty this. good, too. The what? The Sean penis. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. That was like that was like. He has a friend named Sean, and he got naked for a second, and we censored it. It was right. Gotcha. It was when yeah, he well, sat on the. It was when he was doing that bit. It, it was funny though, Ty, because he didn't know he was playing us a video, and he thought he censored himself, but he uh, accidentally screen shared an unedited <laughs> version of the video. So that was fun. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that that's the only other moment where I'm like, oh, that was peak. That was like peak regtard. But wow, did you just coin that term right now? Regtard. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Um, well, that's that's it. Unless you have something else. That was all I had. I had nothing. This went longer than I was much longer than I was expecting to be honest. Because because yep. uh, I was like, oh, we already have forty minutes. We only have to do like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I'm What's sorry. Up, the Isaiah, the Isaiah thing. I, 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 oh, I, I always want to get Isaiah on for something, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I had the opportunity for Ty, so I got that. And then you know, the Wings Brothers was a surprise, obviously. So I was already orchestrating two people, and then we get sidetracked by a surprise. So yeah, it was definitely something. Yeah, busy episode. Okay, well, I guess yeah. Um, <laughs> you hate my fucking guts, don't you? <laughs> Editing is going to be fine, truthfully. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great product at the end. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah. I was t- I, every time those fuckers join, <laughs> I'm just so thrown it's off. It's been twice. This is the second time. I and I was equally thrown off. When was the first Arguably time they more did thrown it? Off. I can send yeah. you a link after this if you want. Um. But okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And, and after we say these words, there's going to be a. Uh, How many times do we got to tell you the great Isaiah is going to talk about Rooster Teeth after well, this we keep before you fucking it, so just people, believe it? So people, yeah, I mean, so at least people, sixteen like, more times. The issue, the issue with this is, is half the people he, are here because they want to watch us and the Wings Brothers and that whole thing. Well, no, now it's now it's in thirds because now the very beginning is a serious conversation about work ethic with Ty, and then the middle of the episode is a Wings Brothers bit where it's just and? pure what? improv comedy, and then the last third of the episode is going to be talking with the great Isaiah about machinimas and rooster teeth. So there's three very different, distinct audience. We're going to have to just break it up into like three parts, to yes, be honest with you, in timestamps. So he, and here's, a, here's an announcement for everybody. Um, we're getting back into machinima. So Whoa. no, no, yeah. bleep so that, cut that, fuck that. Everybody uh, look forward to that. Uh, the only way we're involved in machinima is by working with Isaiah. That's it. Well, yeah, we're going to we're gonna or maybe throw, Ty has something secret. Isaiah, I don't know. We're gonna have Isaiah voice a character in our machinima called Zach. It's gonna be called Mashid Mashitted. So This is your bit, my brother. <laughs> you made your bed now sleep in it. So uh look we'll forward to that. It's gonna be great. Yep. My bed, my bed. You're right on here. speakerphone. Uh, hey, so are you? Um, so <laughs> this is pretty funny that it happened <laughs> at the end there. Um, but my on computer, brand. yes, very on brand for the character. My computer ran out of memory uh, <laughs> right at the end of the podcast, so oh, my shit. computer got dementia. Uh, <laughs> at the end. Um, and just completely went black on us. So we got it up and running, but I also don't know if that fucked up like the recording. 
Um, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll have to find out when we press when we press end. <laughs> I will say this though: we've thought we've messed it up a lot before because they warned us with this platform that it would have a lot of issues, right? Um, but we've yet to actually run into it. We've we've always been able to recover the files from it. Well, so, that's promising. Have well, you ever had a computer lose its memory, though? <laughs> no. So that's why I'm concerned. Um, but we'll figure it out. But is there a way to check this, Ben, before we press stop? No, no? I'm going to have to hit end, and we're going to find it okay. out then. So, All right. Well, I guess we'll see how fucking worth it it was, buddy. <laughs> well, you'll have mine. Yeah, you'll have one perspective. Yeah, we'll have to just make up something for, for fucking wild. <laughs> they said they have the great I know. Um, that is going to be fantastic. Yeah, I mean, if it fits, I, I doesn't it upload though as it goes? It does. Like I'm at 99 percent right now, and he still hasn't yeah. ended it. You're still fucking on the show. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, dude. I tried telling you when you first got on. Um, I love Sorry, you. That was that was one of my grandsons, an older one. <laughs> Very handsome. <laughs> Very handsome. We can't get right. rid of these fucking uh, guys. I love, I, I love you, bro. I'm going to hang up. I'll let you know I how it goes. My, I treat my grandson like Donald Trump treats that. Uh, what the fuck Baron. is Baron? His name? Oh, yes, Baron. He wants to <laughs> fuck Baron. <laughs> it's like an eight foot tall mongoloid. <laughs> um. Okay, well, you guys should end it and figure out if any of that saved. Well, that's what we were trying to do before you called me, and then I just, you know, this is extending it longer. Ben, 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 put how you feel in the edit on the screen right now, how you feel at this point in the edit. Constipated. All right. Have a good night. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, let's find out if that worked. Um, dude, Ty, you're my, you, and I, and I, and I mean this honestly. You've been my white horse. You've been the the, the one guy that I wanted what to have on. What does that mean? What does white horse actually mean? Everyone just assumes what you mean by that. White horse. I'm right, right? Don't Names. Google it. You're here. Tell me. <laughs> Isn't that it's called, just the a phrase horse? he's always used. I don't white know. I just, I've never heard it. Like You tell me. Right. Wait. So someone, someone says it's a white horse. It means a rare item. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, you've been you've been my white horse. You've been the person that I wanted on the the uh, the podcast the longest for sure. Aww. So glad to have you yeah. on, brother. Happy to be here. Uh, Always, and but like if you have any questions, like for me, because I know like it sounded like you had a bunch more, but we just didn't have the time to do it. Like if you want me back to answer more questions or just like shoot me a message on Discord, whatever, I'm here. Yeah, and and we do this every other every other Friday. So at the same time, so always invited, always open. Yeah. Invite. This one was a little different because, um, I, I'm trying to keep things in lore, but I, we reserved this a little <laughs> bit more than we usually do to have some special people on. So, but usually there's just a link in the guest chat channel and discord. I got yeah, you. So you can see we, whenever, whenever you see it, if you want to hop on and talk for, and it's always, and it's drop in, drop out. You can join whenever you want, leave whenever you want. Don't even worry about it. So, yeah, always open I'll keep that in mind. All right. Well, and uh, every enjoy the video with Isaiah. Enjoy the video with Isaiah. Enjoy the video with Isaiah. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Wilds back. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> every time. <laughs> Hey, we're back. R.I.P. Rooster Teeth. Welcome the great Isaiah. Hey. Hey. Yes. Hey. I, I don't know how we're going to edit this or what tomorrow's thing is, but crazy breaking news. Rooster Teeth is dead. And my uh, greatest friend in the whole wide world, the great Isaiah, we share a mutual love of, of Rooster Teeth. And so is does Ben over here. And we can talk about how we're doing as well, too, if you wanted to in a, in a, in a moment. But just 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 getting shit out there. Right. How does that feel? Rooster Teeth's dead. 
I don't know. It's it's felt dead for a while, and they just kept beating that dead horse for like an extra. I don't want to say decade because I think they were still good. I think actually 2013, 2014 was about their peak. So yeah. like seven or eight years, it's been it's been pretty rough. Yeah, I, I watched some video earlier today on the subject because I, I personally, I used to be a huge fan of Rooster Teeth. Isaiah and I went to RTX. Actually, f- f- side note about that, I think, didn't we learn, Ben, on my Cleveland trip that we may have even stayed at the same we did. hotel? We did stay at the same hotel. At that trip. Very, very weird. Um, but, uh, you know, it's been a while since I aggressively followed them. So when I was watching some videos on this, uh, people kind of directly pointed to like COVID screwing them over, not only for like pro- pro- uh, productions, but like RTX was a big money driver and kind of that dying down seemed to be a big thing. Yeah, I think each time that we actually, weirdly enough, I think every time we've gone into depth about the RT stuff, Isaiah has been on, if I'm not mistaken. Um I think yeah, it was the other two times we talked about it. Isaiah was on. If I'm not, if I'm remembering correctly, and he's, he's the RT guy. The RT yeah. guy, and uh, it's uh, it feels yeah. shitty um, because I feel like you know I feel it's it, it, I I logically know that I can't feel guilty, but I feel that like emotional guilt for being one of the people that stopped watching because I don't like the the fact that all these people. And content creators that I like that I just stopped watching are out of a job now because of the lower viewership. Um, I mean, it's uh, every, every fucking person has said it. It's not like a new take. The writing was on the wall, has been on the wall for the last what, four or five. Six Some people years. online do seem to be kind of shocked by it, but I don't know how you could. I don't, I'm not remotely shocked by it. I'm saddened by it. I watched the, you know, I, I skipped around in the, the live stream they did today. This is the day that they, I haven't seen that, yet. that was announced. Very emotional. I teared up a few times. Uh, Jeff Ramsey can make me tear up at any moment for some reason. Um, but it, it just feels, it feels just shitty. Uh, I mean, I, I'm i very interested to see where everybody goes and hopefully they go in a direction where you know, that, that aligns with what I watch. But it, uh, it's just not, it doesn't feel great. Doesn't feel great to to this channel that I watched since like what twenty. I mean, I was a late bloomer. Late bloomer is not the right word. I was a late uh, <laughs> late viewer. I, I didn't get girls until I started watching <laughs> yeah, Rooster weird. Teeth. Um, no, yeah. I think I started watching like 20, 30, 2011, 2012. Like I was seriously watching in 2011, 2012. Um, so it's it's but it's just it's very weird, you know. I think, but it's been like it's been again. It's I have so many thoughts on this. It's been like a like. The RT podcast stuff happened. RVB was kind of garbage for a while. You know, like they were focused a lot on animation and I didn't really give a shit about what the animations they were doing were. Um, I don't know if that's how everybody felt or just me. My brain, my face looks like a brain. Isn't that weird? Um, and, uh, you you are, you're, you're a specimen. Why? Uh, and then, um, I don't know. It's just been a, it's been a long time coming. And it's been it's been clear that they're not hitting their stride. They weren't they weren't revamping the way that they should have. There's I honestly some of their IPs are still really good, I think. Um, but unfortunately a lot of them are dying. And I also learned today the Roost Podcast Network has some of the, like the most popular podcasts running on it. Like the H three podcast is part of the Roost. Huh. Yeah. Do you have a list of that you can send? Well, I get, let Isaiah have a moment, yeah, <laughs> so I can look through the roost because I haven't heard of that myself. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know the roost was. I thought the roost was just their stupid name for their like personal podcast. That's you see, I thought that too. Okay, let's yeah. see here. I don't know. I mean, I I definitely get that emotional side. But podcast, like, but outside, that's crazy. What? Yeah. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, just the podcast, but outside. I had no clue they were Rooster Teeth affiliated. Oh, I don't. I don't watch. I don't really listen to that many podcasts anymore. Mm. I used to have to drive a lot, so I listened to a lot of podcasts. Now I listen to like one co- podcast just so I know what's happening in pop culture because I don't usually watch trailers and yeah. Or pay as someone that has a podcast, fuck podcasts. Ninety eight percent of ninety eight percent of them suck. I mean, we're always going to continue doing this podcast because we like talking They're to good each for other. Being but in the car we're doing only. It. That's that's the only time I yeah, can listen to them. We're, 
I like them for other stuff, but as uh, now that I'm like full time video editing and stuff, it's like I have to listen to people talk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very rarely am I going to listen to talking in this year, talking in the other year. Um, but I, I say I know that you feel very strongly about this. Like th- this was a long time coming. You know? Yeah, yeah. I definitely because I mean I guess I had that moment where they were they they've been dead to me. I was just like. I don't know. I like, yeah, like you said, I went to RTX. Like I grew up with Rooster Teeth. They aren't who inspired me to do Machinima, but they are, were a big part of it. And it's just like to see them go from like, and then they were making like stuff like day five and crunch time. And to see them go from that to just canceling all their shows. And then like, then they were screwing over their animators. Then Ryan became a thing. Then Adam. And it's just like, it was just such a slow decline that I just, just, it just wasn't the same anymore. I just, yeah, you, and so it's just like, it just felt good for it to finally stop. Yeah. You sent me an interesting message over discord where you said that you genuinely hated seeing them beat down your favorite thing for like seven years. And I think that that's an interesting, like, you know, counter perspective than what Ben was saying, because Ben's like, Oh, I, I should continue supporting these people. But your counter argument would be like, why would, why would I continue? Like it, it's, it should be your job as a content creator to make content that people want to watch. Right. Yeah. And um, just seeing them kind of ruin, ruin the, the aspects of why you loved something was a reason why I assume you stopped watching a lot of it. Hey, but the yeah, RVB, they, the new, the last season RVB is apparently coming out, which I'm very excited about. Very, very excited about that. Is it, I'm assuming it's their uh, last one. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's gotta be. I mean, some WB, you don't know. Someone could just say, hey, we have this property. Yeah. I don't doubt it. Would be very yeah, I think it I think it was um shoot, I forget. I, I watched a couple of videos on this today. I, this was either the Moist Critical one or the uh Mogul one, the Ludwig one or whatever. Yeah. But one of them had mentioned that potentially if people wanted to continue on like solo acts or independent acts, that they might need to like buy the IP back from like Warner brothers or something like it might require like a repurchasing of like the, the media rights or something like that. I'm not quite sure how that would work in those, those instances. I saw tweets like that too. I don't know. I I don't like these big companies. I don't know if they, I don't know how much they give a shit. Like they just privated all of machinima and just were like, it's, it's done. I feel like that's that's what's going to happen. I I, I mean, I have a, 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 Concern that that's what's going to happen almost entirely. And it's probably more complicated than this, but I feel like it's almost entirely because they don't want to deal with doling out the money in the way that it should be dealt out when the company doesn't exist anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. More so of like a liability I don't, I don't thing. I don't really have any hope for just, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, okay. I don't, I don't know. I mean, they, people can start new channels and they'll probably get a big boost, especially if they start them soon. But then they yeah. might have some kind of contract agreement. I I really don't know. Do non competes are non competes like void if you like terminate the entire company? I would assume, but I don't know. I I I wouldn't. I have I no clue. I, honestly, I don't think RT enforced that too much because I know a lot of their. But would Warner Brothers? Because at this point, RT doesn't exist as a buffer. Between know. these employees and Warner Brothers, know. you know, yeah. Know. Um, yeah, I'm asking you directly. How does Warner Brothers as a company operate? I actually, know the guy, Mr. Brothers. Mr. Brothers, <laughs> yep. It's awful. Um, no, uh, so yeah, I, 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 I'm more like I have consumer guilt where I'm like I wish that I liked them more so I could so they they would still have a job. I think that's also me just being a massive fucking pussy. But they also did. Like I, I watched Ruby up to season, I think six or five or something like that. And I was like, Oh, I like this. And then it, I stopped liking it as soon as it, I couldn't binge it. Um, RVB. I stopped watching whenever uh, it stopped being about the main crew. I, I, I think it was what, two seasons or I, I don't know. Yeah. It was like, it was two and a half. No one really mm-hmm. counts that last one. Cause, cause literally no one watched it. Yeah. Like, I think that it got like, I don't even know if those episodes passed like 10,000 views. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of, it was tragic because the, the six, six, uh, season six through eight were the best machinima. I think that's ever happened. Uh, Maybe six through nine best machinima that has ever happened. And now Bernie's back to rate season 24, whatever the fuck. And it's no, 
18, did, did Bernie have any like comment on this whole situation or anything? Yes. Did he like rear his head? Yeah. Is he on that live stream? No, he has a podcast now. Oh, yeah. Wait, uh, this is the first time I'm podcast? hearing about this. He did talk about it. And it was as about, honestly, it was about as, uh, I don't know. Two dimensional. As, no, as two dimensional is that everybody else's opinions like, oh, this sucks, <laughs> you know? Um, but he obviously, he had a little bit more. He had, he was more verbose and better, more, more spoken about it, but it was the same idea of like, this sucks. A lot of people that I like are out of jobs. It's unfortunate. You know, this was bound to happen. The writing was on the wall, blah, 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 blah. Because the writing was on the wall for years. I would every, there's a certain YouTubers and I've heard this from other people before certain YouTubers that I'll check in with. Like, I'll be like, like RT is a good example where I'd be like, Funhouse was kind of that yeah, for me I, a little I, bit. I check in and be like, what is their viewership looking like? What is their sub growth looking like? And it was always for RT. It was always down, always down. And I remember when they were only getting like 30 K views a video and I, or I say only 30 K views a video. And I was like, man, remember when they were getting 300 K at the minimum each video. And then now it's like, you know, towards the end, it was like seven K like what, yeah, what, what, do, what do you think? 10,000. Yeah. What do you think that is? Is it like, you know, did they change the style of content? Is it like the co style of we, content we, got outdated? We, is it the YouTube algorithm we or something along this. those lines? We talked about this. There's a fly on my pop filter. Oh my God, dude. Don't Edit blow on your mic. You idiot. I think, I think I can, you can genuinely prove what it is because if you look at their channel, the only, the two most recent biggest videos they've had that hit about that 300,000 view point were Camp Camp being back and Red versus Blue because they were a storytelling channel about stories and videos mm. and shorts that were stories and they just cut that part of the company out. And then for some reason in a last ditch effort, they brought all those shows back, which looks like it could have possibly worked because the trailers at least had good numbers, at least decent. And and then they died before they could even try it. Well, I just don't, I just don't know why they changed what they did. Like it worked. I liked it. What's annoying that they did that I've seen people call out is that they took the you know, RVB off YouTube and you know, put it on their website behind a paywall and then put it back on YouTube behind a paywall. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's so annoying. You can't just watch that shit for free at this. I mean, at this point, I mean, I guess you could because they're not, you know. Um, that's, yeah, that's just like Overwatch too. They were just like, "Look, it's new." Yeah, and it was just like, "But, but this is worse." Yeah, it's like, "Bye." Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I think that's you know, because Isaiah, you clearly focus on like a storytelling YouTube channel, and you're like a firm believer in storytelling content. Um, so I, I think it's interesting that you're drawing that that distinction there between like them separate them cutting out storytelling content. I do think though, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm certainly the least rooster teeth heavy guy here. But what wasn't there like a big contingent of their fans that were like in it for achievement hunter and in it for like let's plays or would you still argue that the storytelling aspect of it was better, more powerful or more important or whatever? I mean, but th that's where they shine because they had that, they had that storytelling element and then you it was like and this is the people behind that and you liked them too. And you mm. like seeing them play games. And yeah, I would say I would say eventually achievement hunter got bigger. But I would argue that was also just, I mean, in popularity, I would say red versus blue has the biggest thing. It's the one of it's the longest running web series. So it has that like its peak was probably higher because of its age too. But um Achievement Hunter was a really big Let's Play channel for a while. Like they had really just consistent views for a good amount of time. Like, I but mean, let's, let's play has just died off on YouTube in general because of the algorithm. So like that channel dying, I don't even really think that's necessarily their fault. I think COVID really fucked them because I was still a, a that's what I heard. Playing Funhouse fan. Um, well, what what about COVID happening screwed them over specifically? Is it just productions? Me and me and Ethan talked about it a lot. It was just they just lost that dynamic. It just it was just like that one second pause. It it really added mm. up. I don't know. It just it was just like. Them being remote didn't, it just wasn't as funny and he just, it just fell off. Like, I guarantee if you look, that's about where their views fall off. And like, yeah. we wanted to like, I, I, two of my friends watched it and we just wanted to like it, but it just wasn't the same. And then people started leaving because of the drama and then they started having internal drama that we actually heard about. 
I mean, the Caden stuff was crazy because it revealed they weren't really <laughs> paying very well. Who's Caden? I don't know if I know about that. Oh, boy. Which is, you can assume with a startup, but then you also have Bernie showing off his Tesla, which kind of reveals, oh, that's a little fucked up, right? I yeah. don't know. It's just, it's, that's why I just kind of, I was just like, everyone's saying, man, this is so sad. I'm just like, it's, it was sad 10 years ago, guys. Like, now it's like, like. What what did they have? We weren't even watching them. None of us really care. We, none of us should care. It's just, it sucks that people don't have jobs, though. I will say that. People are saying that. It does suck they don't have jobs. But at least Richard yeah. is a, I assume that's a pretty good resume, at least. It, it was a good production company. Yeah, I, I wish I wish it could have ended more fashionably, I guess, is my thing. Like, I, I obviously, I didn't watch in the last, like, four years, whatever, five years. But I, I, I just wish it ended more fashionably where it wasn't just shut down on a whim. But I don't think anybody at that company would have allowed it to be shut down in a more fashionable way. Like, you know how, like, it's getting into the nuances, but how, like... Go for it. How Cow Chop ended itself in 2019. Yeah. That was, like, I think that would have been a nice way. In a, in a, if they did a similar thing, but they would never do it, I don't think. You know what? I think in an optimistic light, I actually think they could end in a nice way. If if restoration is good, that's still coming out. If that's good, that would be a great end to the company. Yeah, like, true. oh, they ended their show. And I mean, hopefully I can just buy that Blu-ray so I don't have to fucking worry about that shit. Um, Because all their stuff is out. But, and Camp Camp, if Camp Camp is good, that would be another side. Maybe they do... Their 20th anniversary was actually, I actually enjoyed that because they brought back the yeah, shows. Yeah, I did too. Like million dollars, but yeah. those also, again, a peak in views. It's like they knew this is what people want, which, and maybe they couldn't afford it, but they could have downsized or something. They could have done anything other than change everything they do. That's just my opinion, though. I don't run a mm. big company. So I don't yeah, know. It, it, it was, I just don't see why they did that. It, it It's <sighs> okay. So, how I, I mean, in a very like two, like five IQ brain, I, 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 when I'd see a video with like someone like Jeff in the thumbnail, I would click. And then I realized at some point that was the only person I was clicking for when they were, like, I mean, he's not, he wasn't in every video or whatever, but I, he was like the only person I'd be clicking for because I just wanted to see Jeff because I don't know what it is. Saint Jeff and Bernie, the same. They are always like very watchable, very likable. I mean, always, always make me laugh, make me smile. Um, and so I was only watching, like at some point I was only watching for Jeff and then I wasn't really watching at all. Um, but I mean, it, it's, it's just unfortunate. And in, in the, in what it really is, is it's a change in staff and it's a change in like, people expect, you know, the four main guys and then they don't get any of them. It's just like, what the fuck are we watching for now? And I, I mean, I, if they had more time, maybe it would have worked out or maybe it would have fallen worse, but they weren't changing in the right way. A lot of their humor is very, very, very unfunny millennial humor, um, which doesn't, is not the kind of humor that people want to see in 2024, to be honest. Um, it was very, everything was very safe, which it used to not be very safe. Uh, every every joke was very safe, very well crafted, very uh, 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 in a, in, inoffensive to any human on the planet, which devoids most. I mean, like a lot of their comedy in the early days was baking, it was shit talking people, uh, either, whether that be each other or whatever. And then they did that's just completely, you know, they in like 2020 or 2018, they just stopped doing that entirely, which is like, fuck, dude. Like that's like in what specifically like let's plays or storytelling content or what? Uh, I, mean, I mean, everything in everything general, was just more, I don't know. I don't, I don't but, sterilize so I guess, once full guess, screen happened. I guess just like the improvisational stuff, you know, it, it's just, it's just okay. much more safe, which everybody's, uh, everybody's like quoting a tweet. They said like, we stand with social justice, blah, 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 blah. And everybody's like, look at this, these, these fucking fools standing for social justice, fucking social justice warriors, blah, 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 blah. That's not even the fucking issue. Is that they're standing for social justice? Everybody that you know, everybody that has a fucking brain in their head, to some degree, stands for social justice. The problem wasn't social justice. The problem was that they changed everything about them as a as a as a their their comedic stylings went from being not edgy, not even edgy, on the edge at the most, to the most safe, like baby jokes, 
very millennial baby jokes in the in the world. I, I think in and I don't know. I don't have any specific examples to go off of, but I, I have noticed that a lot of those like let's play era YouTubers, the ones, that, a lot of the ones that have kind of stuck around, have kind of like kidified their content in a weird way, right? Like the ones that are still pulling in a lot of numbers, um, you know, are do like still doing like Minecraft stuff more geared towards even younger kids still rather than maintaining like an edge to them. But that's just a personal observation. Yeah, I, I don't personally mind if you're, if you tailor yourself more towards um, children, as far as the games go, games you're playing the Minecrafts and whatever. Um, because like, what's another good example? Like I don't watch game grumps anymore, but I know that they've stayed pretty besides the first year maybe they stayed pretty consistent with how what their jokes are how funny they are you know and all of that has kind of stayed consistent there they, and it's always the same two people for the last 12 years i mean it and it and it's and it's good um but yeah i i i just have RT just stopped being funny. I mean, I, I don't know how else to say it. RT just stopped being yeah. funny to me. And I, I maybe I grew up faster than I don't know. Maybe no, because they have millennial humor. So I don't know. It just stopped being funny to me. I just thought I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know the cast. Nothing I was watching was particularly that funny. They I were very personality driven, and that the when the personalities changed, it's like well, I, people. I I read this when Bernie, Bernie's podcast first came out. People said on their subreddit, I realized that I was never a rooster teeth fan i realized i was a bernie fan and then i realized oh i'm not a rooster teeth fan i like the big four maybe maybe some gav maybe some barb but other than that i'm like i don't really care yeah i and i think too just to you know i feel like a lot of people would click on this or honestly a lot of other videos and go like okay you know it's the same story over and over and over again like this is something that w has some history to it that ended and it just sucks to see people lose jobs and it ended but i i, I want to personally re like reemphasize just how fucking important rooster teeth was in like the 2000s and 2010s right like you know you guys may have been more into it than me but even i was hooked like i spent money to go to RTX, right? Like, you know, I know like most of my friends that were doing YouTube content or, you know, going to like film school or, um, you know, just doing any kind of like editing work. Most of them, probably not a hundred percent of them, but honestly, a lot of people I knew their dream job, like the reason why they were doing what they were doing was so they could be a part of this. Um, and even though like I, I thought that would have been dope for myself, but that was like never, you know, I, I, I never like outwardly like said that. But still, it was like an inspiring thing to see people be like pioneers on the Internet. You know what I mean? To like be funny and authentic online and, you know be these people who are, you know, not only funny and storytellers, but are, are not only able to make a money to make money or a career on the internet, but build a business on it. Right. To the point where like you're buying DVDs of red versus blue, a halo animated show in the store. People are like, I'm spending my own money to fly across the country to meet up with people and like, hang out and see what they're working on. You know what I mean? Like they're getting like real movie deals and stuff. And sure, it's easy to look back and go, oh, this is kind of hokey or, you know, you know, you can keep watching these videos over and over and over again and be like, OK, I get it. Like historical thing dies kind of sucks. How much more do I want to hear it? Hear the story. But I can just tell you from personal experience that like it, it whether I watched it or not, it influenced every everything and everyone around me. It paved the way for, you know, I know that we're not doing the exact type of thing that they're doing, but like, you know, it, it paved the way for a lot of people to be able to do this, let alone Isaiah. You know what I mean? Like you clearly, um, you know, any Halo machinima in general, people are going to compare to red versus blue in some way, whether you like it or not. Um, and it just it, it just has such, had such an impact. And. You know, I, I feel like the shock waves of that impact are still being felt today. And it it, it sucks that the ride's over. 
but I really want to like emphasize on top of that, like not only does this just suck, but this stings too. Yeah, it, it was. It's. I mean, so important in it. I mean, it, they were at some point trying to re- compete with HBO and Netflix. That yeah, they, shows they were saying the shit size. like that. I mean, how big that was at the time. How influential. I mean, I. I can't say that I wouldn't have found this if I didn't watch RT, but the I started a YouTube channel in 2014 that was basically like my copy and paste version of RT with different names and different people, which was some of the, I made some of the best videos I've ever made that are bad objectively, but good subjectively. Um, I was continuously inspired by the the work they did with the work I saw of them. Uh, when I was uh, very depressed in high school, I would throw on the RT podcast on my iPod touch fourth generation. Uh, and I know in, uh, in my bed uh, to watch, to not like think about all the shit that was going on in my brain. Um, so it, it, it had, it, 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 it is both personally and, um, uh, it is, is micro and macro bat, uh, unfortunate and sad. Um, and, and, I, and it did, and it deserved to end. I, I mean, in the nicest way, it was, it, it did its time. The company did its time. The people did their time. I know that it sucks that again, 150 people are out of a job, but they did their time. They, 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 um, they they it's made time to a, put the dog down. Time it, they put Lassie down. They shot that bitch. And hey, I wouldn't watch it. Huh? Is this a, they put last? They shot that bitch. Like, they, they, they shot that bitch. <laughs> they, they shot that bitch. They did a three sixty no scope yeah. on old yellow. Yeah. Oh yeah, in Halo. Um, no, but uh, in Halo. Uh, no, I, I I guess my 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 over all point is like I wouldn't have watched them going forward unless they really made a big change. Um, but it, it does, even though I, I don't know, it's, it's again, it's just like, it's like, yeah, uh, like a, like a, like an in-law dying or something. It's like, you don't really talk to them. You don't really, you know, care about them. You don't really spend the time. They like helped raise you, you know? Yeah. In In a weird way. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I do want to gush over what Isaiah is doing and stuff, uh, a little bit of uh, time for that. But I also want to give you a moment for your little uh, in memoriam in Rooster Teeth or any other questions or shit you want to raise about it while we're here. Um, you know, it's not every, not every day we get to talk to Isaiah. So just want to, you know, let you have some words in there and then we can, you know, plug some shit up because we love you. Let me think. What it, what else is there to talk about? Um, I mean, yeah, they had a good run. I do hope the people who work there can find new jobs. Um, maybe they could work for the great Isaiah. Maybe they can hop on this oh. podcast and talk to us. Yeah. Hey, yeah, open cool. invite. Any former Rooster Teeth employees <laughs> want to do a tell all? Yeah. Speak your hit shit. us up on OnlyFans. Oh, I am very excited for all the behind the scenes stories. Maybe I would love like if Bernie does an episode of whatever his show is and he's like, hey, this is why Rooster Teeth failed. I would love to watch that. Cause yeah. like up until about up until they sold out, Rooster Teeth was like my dream. So I, I wanna I'd love to achieve like that and just not do what they do. Yeah. yeah, you were supposed to take me to RTX, Isaiah. I we had to bits go, I planned. To go one more time. I oh, know your video. Oh my god! That's like we gotta go to some other convention though. I just want to premiere a video in front of live audience, like they did uh, with RVB season eight. Hey, what you should do is you should send out a call out. This is so unrelated to RT. Uh, you should send a call out to all your fans. Tell them to re- tell, tell them to join this Riverside link on this day at this time and just stream the episode to all of your fans and us. Well, you do premieres on YouTube that yeah, would probably would be get the, more views than be, that. But this would be a live reaction. We'd be like, oh, to every, every scene. <laughs> 
Just think about it. <laughs> think about it. Yeah. What about what about what about that? Huh? Um, but no, no. I mean, seriously, though, Ben, I messaged this to Ben and Ben was like, oh, let's go to PAX or something. So think of another convention. We'll find some low level convention to send all your fans to and do a panel, Isaiah. I do think I do think if I ever do just get my channel big enough, I I Channels just get invited to conventions and I'll just go and say, I want a panel and they'll give me one. I bet. So that's the plan. I, hey. I will. I would love to go to PAX. I'd love to go to another convention. I, I have a Maryland has like one of the biggest anime conventions, Otakon. I used to go to that in high school. Isn't that for furries? So. No, I mean, <laughs> it might be now. I don't fucking know. Uh, I, I, I don't mean to like uh, burst your bubble Isaiah, but we did get 20 subs in like two days. So maybe nice. maybe if we're you mean we're invited to a, a panel, I'll I will have you on. I would love that. I'll absolutely come. <laughs> you, if you, you, will you fly me out? Absolutely. Oh well, I'll pay. No Do you think problem. hopefully all twenty of those subs want to show up to the same spot on the same day live? All from a short um, too, so they're never coming yeah, back. Yeah, all from one YouTube. <laughs> I, said, I uploaded a short yesterday of of me slapping Ben in the face to the main it, the main channel because we're doing shorts in the main channel now, and it it, it is like by it has like a two hundred percent like view rate or something crazy like that, and we yeah we've gotten like twenty subs in like a day. It's still going up. It's getting like a like a hundred views every hour or something. Oh, 300 views in the last hour. So it's still going like nutso mode right now. Um, but that, that, that's what he's referring to about that. Yeah. So if you ever, if you ever need a, uh, a ride out to like PAX East, we'd have to slap you live though. We'd have to slap you live. Yeah. That's the issue. Mm. Um, You're losing I know you. I mentioned this to you earlier today, Isaiah, and it, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if this conversation will go anywhere, but I think it might be fun to bring up. But I mentioned to Ben earlier that JT Machinima is like a main voice actor in Halo Butt Buddies. And I I, I don't know. I, I, I It's hard for me to gauge your reaction over text, but I feel like that did a mini explosion in bra- Ben's brain so for a it, moment there. It wasn't because I cared. It's because they, they did this song. The fucking can't wait to meet you. So I went into I went yeah. to Alexis's room and I said I said I said Alexis, what is your favorite Five Nights at Freddy's like uh, uh, parody song, whatever the fuck? And she was like, Oh, the one that goes, uh, can't wait to meet you. Does like the whole like TikTok thing? And I was like, Bro, I kind of have like a weird like side link to the people that the guy that wrote that. And I, it's I, I it's, told it's her such it a funny. far link between him to me to you, to JT. I don't know if you even work with him terribly closely anymore, uh, but that that's kind of on subject for Rooster Teeth, and um, that, that is a crazy voice actor get, and it kind of blew our blew his little mind earlier today. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, so I don't give a... F- I, I don't... I, and I and I apologize because I know you know this. We guy. love JT Machinima. We love JT, JT Machinima. Machinima. I don't give a shit about JT Machinima. Come on the podcast. <laughs> I see. I would give a shit if he came on the podcast or they came on the podcast. I think, uh, but um, with an original rap. I I, I wanted to change because I was like, are these guys even doing anything anymore? And they are. Um, but I saw that they made their most popular song was the fucking Five Nights one, and I was like, what the fuck. And then I looked it up. I just Googled it. I was like, is it, did they just do like a video for it or something? Nope. They did the whole thing. Blew my mind. But that was it. So let's have fun. Yeah. It's crazy to see um, like JT Machinima and Ethan Coleman as like the two top billing on a Halo Machinima. But yeah, uh, and I'm, <laughs> you, I'm just waiting you can to pull be, those strings. I'm just waiting to be the fourth main character on Halo Butt Buddies. But I'll, I'll wait for you at the invite. I have a really good voice acting voice. I could do a really good plankton impression if you want to hear it. I do. Grabs. <laughs> you blew it. You had your one shot. You missed your chance to blow. Hey, can you imagine? Look, Halo Butt Buddies, they add a fourth character. Huge. I say it's they. Plankton. Like, like, <laughs> it's plankton. It's just me doing a plankton impression really poorly for 10 episodes. Uh, dude, I'm... I, Call me, okay? I'm you saying. did an excellent dub on the live episode. Zach, uh, our boy Zach here actually voices in a video with JT Music. I do. I forgot. I was a part of that series twice. Tw- I, yeah, definitely. Uh, season one and season two, if that's the case. you might. It might be more in little spots. I don't remember. I was a griffball announcer at one wait, wait, point. Wait, wait, do you uh, do your, how, say your line? I don't, I don't remember. And then I was a drug dealer in Darknet. 
And then I was someone else in Dark Knight. I played two characters in Dark Knight, I think. I forget what the second one was. Can you just remember? But like, That's it. Look, it's Ethan. Let's, no, let's hear me out. Ethan? Dante's his name. No, Dante's the character. What's his actual name? Dante's the character. It's Christian, uh, right? Christian, yeah. Christian, and then one is you, right, Isaiah? Well, Am I wrong? No, I'm not. Well, kind of, but no. It's me, Chronicle, He's not a main character in the show. Ethan. Wait, okay. Shit. It's Dante, Christian, Chronicle, and Ethan. Gotcha. So it'll be you three, and then you guys go like, okay, you go to the, you go walk up to the ocean in Valhalla. You go, who's in here? And then Krabs just hops out. Fourth character, born <laughs> anew. I'm just saying uh, again. I, 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 I'm, I can, I'm good at writing as well, but I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> I know that you're Should I pull up the video I, ideas Discord <laughs> chat right now and just see what's in there? I know that you're looking. I know that you're looking for another head writer at Halo Butt Buddies. That you're very actively working on that right now. The last the last message he sent me under video ideas was pregnancy simulation, which spoiler alert if that ever happens. So just yeah, just call me. You know, just call me. <laughs> Well, now that you're giving me your secret ideas, I, I don't see why I would need to call you. That's true. You're just going to get the actual voice actor for Plankton to join this, the guest. He's going to outshine you. <laughs> Wait, is that Tom Kenny? No, that's a different guy. No. No, 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 no. Tom Kenny does a few voices. Sure, it might be Tom Kenny. I'm not sure. Crabs. I don't know. I'll look crabs. Definitely not you. <laughs> If you look up who voices Plankton, the top result is Mr. Lawrence. Who the f- why does he not have a first name? <laughs> Maybe that's what he goes like it's like an anime name. Mr. Lawrence? Who the fuck is Mr. Lawrence? It's in the name, dude. I don't know. Isaiah, what are you working on right now? Last man standing stuff? Um what am I? I'm trying to get a Halo Butt Buddies ahead and get on shorts. I am um, having trouble balancing on my because oh, I, I have a day job too. So uh, well, it's remote, but you know I have a job too. So I'm having trouble balancing everything. But yeah, I'm trying to get Halo Butt Buddies in order. I want to get. I'm trying to get videos out monthly. I have like at least twelve videos uploaded, and so far zero. So I can only go up from here. Hell yeah! Yeah, improvement. <laughs> Let's you go. Your, your shorts kick ass people. too, if I remember correctly. Like they do pretty well for views. Yeah, and, and the shorts I'm, are are really helping too. Like it, I had one short just blow up. I got not to not to brag, but like I got like five thousand subscribers in the last like month just off of one short, and that was pretty Big dog. cool. It's kind of slowed down, and I haven't been able to finish a short in a while. But I'm kind of hoping uh, I can get that worked out. By the end so of the month, at least. maybe maybe this is just a numbers game, but you had been t- talking to me about like, oh man, this like related video feature is like a game changer. Like I'm getting so many video views off of it, and maybe it's just a, it's a numbers game in the sense like you're just getting way more views on shorts in general. But I was like, oh man, we do these podcast trailers. When I start doing those again, our views are gonna go crazy. Nobody clicks them. Nobody clicks the goddamn related video button. I literally, I was sending Ben one night these like test examples of like ideas I had where like I was literally like highlighting the related video thing underneath it in the video file. But then like that was a shot that in the, that was a crapshoot because it like reformats it depending on like how big your browser is. So like no matter whatever device you look on it, it's going to be different. I was like pointing arrows at it and stuff. No one clicks it. No one clicks the related video tab, at least on our stuff. Yeah, I've recently been trying to just increase, yeah, my video total views and my uh, my views in general, just because I heard that like I've been trying to research how to get to the you know the level where you can get to sponsorships and stuff. So mm-hmm. that's about like say fifty thousand views. So lately, my popular shorts, to be fair, it's not all my shorts, but for the popular shorts, they have made my videos views increase. Like Halo Buffett's episodes, they usually kind of just peak at. Like, well, it hasn't increased with my subscriber count, which is good. It's just very slow. But let's say they used to peak at like 12K. I uploaded a short and that made it increase by like 5K. So I'm hoping with, because I'm starting to do animation with uh, Fifth Slayer. He's my friend. He's really cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm hoping I can make more shorts of that. 
and then those clips will look really cool and people will click on the video. Um, and then usually that gets people to watch my other stuff, which has been increasing the views overall. But the shorts were doing a lot of the work because it is dying off. So it, it does help, but it, I, it is a very small percentage. Interesting. I don't know what we're doing wrong, Ben. But um, every everything in a good way is the answer and to that question. Hard. But I don't. I mean, if that's I why we stop. That's why we're doing not podcasts now. But podcasts are very hard. Yeah, I don't yeah. Think yeah. I, I could promote a podcast enough. I don't know why we started. I mean, I, I just wanted to, to, to talk I, I, is the reason. But I, starting with a podcast was such a bad marketing decision. <laughs> yeah. Not get well, I, I would I would maybe disagree because it got us a great backload of content and we got to learn like how to do how to work together while it didn't matter. And it frankly still doesn't quite matter. But now I feel like we're doing stuff at a higher level stuff we want to be doing. But now, A, it's like there's this giant backlog of stuff. So if people do start viewing us, there's a lot of other stuff to recommend people. And it doesn't look like we're just some brand new nobodies, right? But then also, again, we just had this long, like, ramp up of just building stuff. You know what I mean? Like, we understand what we're doing a little bit better. Um, Isaiah, this does not hurt my feelings one iota if you say no. But um, I I sent you our recent non-podcast content. Did you look at any of it, even just for a second? No, but I've just, I genuinely have not had a moment to watch. Uh, to I watch feel the same movie. way. My life has been so fucking busy, so that doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, but I, I, I would in be. My head, I know you told me it was new. I 100% was going to respond. It was just that this. Uh, re- that's why I had your podcast in my mind. Because. Mm-hmm. No, and I'm like, thankful you reached out. Like, oh, like, I need to watch their stuff. And I know Bill yeah, like, likes uh, the Rooster Teeth. Yeah, like any any op- you have an open shit. I touched my microphone a whole lot there. I'm sorry, but uh, you have an open invite to talk w- about anything whenever you want. Um, I mean, that's just the pr- the purpose of the show. But also, you know, you're you. I like having you on here. Um, but yeah, I was just curious because you know you, you mentioned like starting with a podcast sucks, and now we have our very first like non podcast thing out. So I'm just I'm I'm just stoked about the future of of that. You know, I'm once the stuff we already recorded goes out, I don't know. Dude, I'm sick of them. They're just people talking. I don't give a fuck what you're saying, dude. It makes me so fucking mad. And I have one and I hate it. I want to do other stuff. I want to do something else. I hate this. What else do you want to do, Ben? CNS. Yeah, you want to you I told you this in the last podcast where I said in my ideal world, it would be flipped. There'd be CNSs every week and a podcast once a month. And you said no. Do you, have you changed your mind or? Well, CNS is uh, more interesting. Harder to edit. Yeah. But. Is that really it? I thought you just liked the idea of a podcast more. Um, if we could do a podcast where I didn't feel like I had to edit it, I'd be like, who gives a fuck two hours every other week, but I have to edit it. And I, I, it makes me hate podcasts. <laughs> I, this is gonna be- I just don't <laughs> listen to podcasts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's funny. Two guys, two the 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 joke is two white guys have a Discord podcast. But what's funny is we're not just two white guys that have a Discord podcast. We also hate podcasts. It's a podcast about hating podcasts. That's why it's funny. You're dumb if you listen to this. His microphone broke. Um I see. I see you started uploading Halo Bub Buddies again, Isaiah. It's doing okay. Huh? Numbers wise, at least. What happened? Well, I'm just chopping it up with my best friend in the whole wide world. Yeah, my 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 thing fell down, and my other. Th- oh well, there he goes. Well, what happened? What happened to him? Beats me. He beats you? <laughs> Physically. We wait for him or are we done? <laughs> I don't know. We'll give it, we'll give it, we'll give it like two minutes. And then if he's not back, we'll up. Oh. My best friend in the whole wide world just joined back. What the heck? You've been here. Did he though? If he's having audio issues, then that might explain it, but can't wait to meet you. 
family. Be open real soon. I can't wait for you to have a four hour podcast to edit. <laughs> Not even gonna be four hours. Just wait until we attach it at the end of whatever we're doing tomorrow. Ah, forget about it. Just cut it down. Forget about it. Just cut it down. Isaiah, I can see your little thing blip up. Testing one, two, three. Testing, testing one, two, Hello. three. Hello. No, I can hear you. That's just broken. Oh, you must be on my other mic because that that my blue yeti is broken. Do I sound <laughs> different? Blue yeti broke. <laughs> Wait, so both of your microphones broke at the same time? No, well, that's well, crazy. No, my blue. First of all, is my snowball. I misspoke. Then it's it wasn't that both my mics broke. One's my blue snowball, and then my laptop mic just fucking sucks. No, I meant that Ben's microphone fell apart. Yeah. At the same time, your microphone broke. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. I yeah. just I just I knocked it over and uh permanently broken forever, I guess. That's fun. All right. Yeah. Well. So guys, if you want to support the great Isaiah and getting a new <laughs> microphone, his YouTube channel will be somewhere either on the screen or in the description. We'll figure it out. I won't, I won't keep you along here forever. I know that this is going to be just a, a, a quicker thing, but, um, you know, good good to get the Rooster Teeth stuff off the chest. I think it helps both of us out, you to have a place to talk about it, especially because I think your audience is probably going to be interested in it, and us just because we're, we're fans of not only you, but uh, previous fans of Rooster Teeth and everything. And it's just, it's just, it's just one of those things that's just like, it, you, we might be saying the same stuff everything everyone else is saying online, but it just feels good to say it, you know? Yeah, and, and it and it feels it, it feels good to show my support in any way that I can. Well, now we can't talk about anything. There, there. Because my uh, future Ben. Hello. What happened? Are we are we good? Do I sound better? Yeah, you sound great. You sound great. Great. Oh. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> Wait, you said you can barely hear me. I can hear you. No, I can hear you. If anything, you're louder than Ben. Oh, no. <laughs> Hell! Isaiah's trapped in the computer! His can't, his microphone's broken, and he's trapped in the computer. If you want to help him, you gotta go subscribe to The Great Isaiah and support him on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I say I, I, you're a cool you're uh, a gem. customer. <laughs> you're a gem. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll end this. Thanks everybody for watching. Later. R.I.P. Rooster Teeth. F in chat. Put F in chat. Put F in the comments.